I've got a good t- podcast topic. What's your favorite sandwich? Hey guys, what's your favorite sandwich? Right. You like a roast beef sandwich? You were kidding me? Some podcasts are so and you don't know. Monte Cristo sandwich has ham and cheese, oh. and then it's but it's on French toast. Oh God, oh, that's really gross, man. Oh, that's awesome. Welcome to the Ten Minute Podcast, brought to you by Amazon and shit. You go to the website Amazon, like, uh, you oh, hit you're the right. thing, the Gamefly. Gamefly, oh. Gamefly. My yeah. name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Callen, and I am Chris D'Elia. And uh, here we are again, friends. Time for another 10-minute podcast. Yep. Stop what you're doing or keep on doing what you're doing when you do, do, do that thing you do. What? No, don't say... That's not well, going to be our we thing. We live in a world... Uh, we live in a pretty crazy world, and the elections are coming up. Yeah. And, uh, it's uh, probably not a good idea to be listening to us when you should be reading the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal and watching a responsible news programs like BBC or but listening we, to National Public Radio. We can, we can um, provide that. Uh, no, we can't. Yes, we don't we can. say anything that's of any merit or value. And I have to be honest with you. That's so if I, current, if current, I had, current if I event had, in it? Excuse me. If mm-hmm. I had children, they would not listen to the 10-minute podcast. I don't think it's good for them. I don't even think this is good for adults. Uh, See? Okay. Excuse me? That was a I'm big burp with, by Will Sasso. Dealing with that's a couple, gross. I'm dealing with a couple of fucking naked no. chimps. No, no, no. I'm, I'm very that's smart. You are. Well, You're okay. not smart. Let me You're t- not a smart Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question before you fucking take over the the podcast with all of your words and never stopping and you don't look at us so you can't see when our mouths open yeah you look directly into the microphone so you can't see when our mouths open yeah so then i can't say anything <laughs> and wait a second thing. but you're not saying anything neither can will he's but doing not, it again oh, look, he's you're doing, doing it. it again you're not saying big anything. killer jones you're doing it again now listen to me okay okay because here's what I already forgot what I was going to say, and that makes you don't have ma- much mad. to say. That makes me ma- mad. But okay? you don't have much to say. Yeah, I do. What the fuck was I going to say? No, oh, okay. Who was the only one to do to bring the current event in it topic to the light? Of yeah, day Chris here. did an episode called "Current Event in It," and I gave all my slants and my my twists on what's yeah. going on in the world today. Do you know? Do you know who's in the running for the election? Of course I do. Yes. Who? Immediately, I know. Yes. Mm, who? Oh, what well, am I supposed to prove it to you? Yeah. No, I don't want to. Okay. Okay. What is the what month is the election in? I know that obviously. When is it? I don't need to uh, talk to you about that. If you were the president of yeah. the United States, uh-huh. which is laughable, I don't want to be condescending, but <laughs> that's very laughable. What What are the five things you do to make this country? I like better? this. I like this as a topic. What, yeah. Chris? What are the five things that Chris Talia would do if he were the president of the United States? First and foremost, <clears throat> I'd set a date to end the war. That's first and foremost. Been okay. done. That's been no. done. No. Um, well, yeah. Done. No, I know. But w- but what war are you talking about? Well, the Iraq War. Because I'm talking been... about the war on hunger. Okay. Well, what's uh, the war well, on hunger? Well, there's going to be a war on hunger because people are dying and because they're hungry. Where are they but dying? I'm saying they're dying of hunger. They're they're dying everywhere. But in America, That's not what true. we need to do. People are on the streets. We need to get them off the streets and into homes. Oh, man, that is such a general comment. Thank you very much. Into homes. And here's another part of my five-point plan, which is what I do. Okay. What we need to do is abolish AIDS. We need to put around more Stop condoms in him. convenience stores, more yes. condoms yes. at places Stop where it. people can access them. Yes. These are such. Thank you. Yes. These are such general. Increase condom spending. Oh, I'm giving them a standing ovation. Thank yes, you. Down. We'll sit and down. My third point in the fi- in my five point chimps, plan in chimps. my Dalia five point plan, ending animal abuse now. Woo! There needs to be no animal abuse. You clean your zoos up. You clean your wildlife reservations up. You never, ever, ever hurt animals. What is okay, what is your what is your what is your disagrees with that? What is the opposition saying about you uh, hurting animals? Well, I'll tell you. My opposition right now to? is saying that it is okay to feed animals once a week, and it is okay to beat animals and fuck them. And I will never, no. ever well, let that go down who's, ever. Who's saying that? No one is saying Thank that. Thank you. His opposition. You're my, his opposition. You. My my opposition, Brian Callen, is saying I, I, that it is okay to have children die, and we need to stop have, that now. Brian Callen, rebuttal? I have children. 
No, I don't think that's all right. That's ridiculous. Which makes it even worse that he would kill children. I I would never let that on my watch. And my end of the five-point plan is tax breaks for everyone. Okay. Money is siphoning through war. And that is not okay. It's siphoning through war or for Where there war. was wartime, there is money to be made, and I will not have that. Okay. Um, stop. Thank you. You clap one more time. I'm going to poke your fucking eyes Brian out. Brian Callen, rebuttal. Yeah. yeah. Hey, dude, Listen. end that. End, end, what, 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 what do you got to answer morons, to that, dude? Morons. That's like the end of the eight mile when Eminem is like, yeah, and you fuck my girl. What do you got to say? And you have nothing yes, to I, say. Yes, if you, yes, I do. This is... I can't believe I'm even rebutting this. Okay. Ambassador, well, do you want to abolish New, AIDS? New, New uh, Jersey Ambassador have, Callen, rebuttal. Yeah. We we all, mo, all those problems are not that they're they are problems that are being currently addressed in a very vigorous and aggressive manner. Okay, stop making these noises. Stop, guys. Let me you're, speak. You're losing the popular opinion. Yeah. Right? Well, superimposed, falling, you, superimposed, uh, the fucking graphics falling in front no, of Brian's face. No. Why? Why would you do? How would you do all these things, Chris? How would you end? How would you abolish AIDS? We have protease inhibitors that are very good for HIV. I know they don't how allow, we can they don't allow AIDS. AIDS. I'm his running mate, and I'll tell you. I'll tell, thank you. Mate. I'm Chris's running mate. Governor Sasso. I can no, tell you how we're going to abolish It'd be vice president. Not yet. Not yet. Because well, he's you. Not a governor. Because the governor. you've been fucking up, and you're the four-year president. You're, oh, my God. And I'm we're the, coming in. Yeah, you're the, you're, I'm the governor okay. of showbiz, so, Will so, Sasso. So, uh, Mr. Vice President. Yes. Mr. Future Vice President. That's how, right. How would you... Uh, how would you abolish AIDS? We go to Magic Johnson's house and we fucking check out what he's been doing for the past 20 years and then we just do that. Well, he's taking protease inhibitors. We know what he's Not doing. Not really. He's just drinking a bunch of fucking OJ and watching movies in his okay. movie theaters playing basketball. He's probably got a big ass basketball court in no. his backyard. You got to no. stay active. Woo! 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 No, That's guys. right. Woo! Guys. We love you. <laughs> now, and oh it is not okay just because somebody has money that they will be deceased free. Everybody here with a heart, with a mind, Who's, with a soul no. and spirit needs to be treated for AIDS. Everybody. Everybody. Okay. But there are a lot of people that don't have AIDS. So no. Why they be... Listen, Brian, you are going to overskip people and they are going to die. It's, over-skip it's just them? like your party to look at AIDS as a singular problem. AIDS is a problem that affects the people. It affects everybody and we are in this together. And until AIDS is rid from our our population, we will stay in it together, and me and the future president of these United States, Chris D'Elia, are committed to a future America without AIDS, because we're going to Magic Johnson's house to drink orange juice with him and play on his basketball card. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, this is... Thank you, Governor of Showbiz, Will Sasso. This is so And what do ridiculous. you have to rebuttal uh, about that, uh, President... Uh, uh, ambassador of New okay. Jersey, Brian. Ambassador right. of okay. AIDS, Jersey. Okay, AIDS has, has been has been uh, largely, in, in some, many ways, some, thank some, God, some, checked some, some, in some, places. Some, uh, some, uh, thank. Some, 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 Stop doing that. Thank you. Thanks to a lot of very strong, concerted efforts by the U.S. government in Africa. <clears throat> we know what he's talking about. We have we have a excellent uh, drugs to keep uh, HIV from becoming AIDS. So I think that our resources are better. Nice uh, better nice focused tits. on <laughs> on on other issues. For example, <laughs> excuse me. He's Who's saying on. that? He's got beat cups. He's got Who's beat saying suck my hairy tits? I'm sorry. T- <laughs> I'm trying to. Ha- I finger yes. Yeah, so that I'll is. Suck your t- <laughs> <laughs> I I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I, I am I am trying to talk about very <laughs> talk about it. You know, I hear a lot of I hear a Excuse lot of talk. Me. I don't see done. a lot of action. Excuse me. I'm not done. God damn it. The bottom line is you've got to get government smaller on both sides, and both sides of the aisle are responsible for this. And the reason Verdi doesn't like Mexico. And the reason because and the reason like you have I I immigration's a whole different thing and I do like Mexicans in fact. Yes, yeah, and Mexican I come Excuse me. What? Excuse what happened? me. Excuse All me. Right. I can't talk about my platform. My opposition being... is trying to bring back polio Ooh. into the mainstream audience, and that is not okay. That is a ridiculous statement. Polio, thanks, thanks, thanks for listening to the Jonas to the, Salk vaccine. Thanks for listening to the 10 Minute Podcast Debates. Uh, this is Thanks for subscribing and downloading on iTunes. Please subscribe if you haven't I got, already. I we're got on, no words. We're in. on Stitcher Smart Radio, Twitter at 10 Min Pod, Facebook slash 10 Min Pod. Vote Libertarian. Vote Libertarian, guys. That's, and I'm going to no, tell you why. That just makes you've us... Gotta, you've got to realize that government is always coercive 
Uh, you need government. You need Such responsible. You guys dig fucking? Yeah. Fucking is my favorite thing in the world. I love it more Whoa, than food. You peaked the microphone. You peaked the microphone already. You peaked the microphone yeah, already. Yeah, but fucking is my favorite thing in so the world. I like it more than this and song. And you don't know how long they last. Cause it's sweaty and Shut it's up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Let it taste so good. Let me say, uh, I'm sorry I asked. Yeah. You're not a good singer. It, hey, straight up. I have a... No, no that's not true. Uh, um, welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast, brought to you by Amazon.com. Go uh, to the website, Amazon Gamefly. Yeah, Gamefly! <laughs> my, who gives yeah. a shit? My, right. my name is Will Make Sasso. sure you click through. Brian, I'm Brian the Kid Callan. Oh, I'm Chris D'Elia. Guys, I'm just going to say this. I think, and I'm not joking when I say this... We should start a band. And oh, I'll fine, be but the lead you could be the singer. No. Lead singer. Please don't. Okay. No, you could be do triangle. You could do the triangle. Yeah. A what? Yeah. No, 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 man. Listen. Or the tambourine. I want to be the lead singer because I got a lot of rasp in the voice. Are they Brian. called the tone defs? I need. Yeah. Hey. Are they called the tone deaf? Hey, bro. Brian, you, please don't. If you sing, I don't want to like get in your, your way creatively, but if you sing again during this episode, I'll shatter your fucking jaw with my yeah. elbow. Whoa, whoa, good whoa. idea. That's bad for the band, guys. Uh, I think that's a good there idea no for band. this podcast. Though. Guys, I want to I want to start. Let, this is bad for the band. We have to talk about the band. No. Um, I, You guys, <clears throat> take my lead on this, man. No. Think of me as Bono. No. You know, and, what, you know what Bono means? Yeah. What, what does it mean? What does it mean? It's Gaelic for it's a dish. It's a type of sandwich. No, it just means good. His, his voice when they started his, his uh, name when they started the band was Bono Vox. Had a little Freudian slip there. It means good voice. Huh. Yeah, I know. Well, I guess that's. Uh, yeah. Do you subscribe to Who Gives a Shit Weekly, or is that just yeah. like is I mean, it Who Gives a Shit Weekly? Is that goes, the magazine you? It goes to my office address, but yes. Oh, okay. If, if you guys could play one instrument, what would it be? Well, I play the guitar and I play the bass, so there's that. Right. No, well, you don't. Yes, yeah, I, I mean, do. He does, no, but if you, you could tinker. play, it, you tinker. Yeah, you tinker. If you could play something really well, you you zero. I, I will tell you this: if I, I I play the guitar, I've played the guitar for you know since I was a young lad, but I would I would. Uh, I would give all my fingers to be able to play the piano. So would I. That he's making you can't. All right, listen. What are you talking about? Because yeah, you need your fingers to play the piano. Oh, that's right. Yeah, sure. that's really well, fucking. All I mean ah. is that I really want to pl- be able to play. The I'd piano. give my chin to play the violin. <laughs> <laughs> but your but your chin goes on that thing. Oh, I'd shit. give my yeah, lips right. to play the tuba. Oh, See how I try oh, to be a joke, joke, yeah, joke. Yeah, I guess so. Third, I'd give a, my lips and my fingers. And my shoulders to play the tuba. I'd play my. Good. I'd give my cock to play the dick drum. Oh, oh, give my what cock. the dick drum? Oh. There, if I played the dick drum, it would be like go 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 go. If Brian played the dick drum, it would be like this. Hey dude, hey dude, don't say that, man. That would he be him pissing and the shitting. If I played the dick drum, it would just go because I would just go right through the skin. No, hey Brian, just stood up and Brian. No, no, please. Ew, Brian, come on. Brian, don't do that again. Remember how angry everyone got when you farted in the shit? Oh, what happened? Okay, we did what? an episode. What happened? We did... <laughs> what happened? You just farted on the oh, fucking mic. Oh, come on, mic. man. You don't have any proof of that. Brian's a grown man. Yo, you don't know that for hey, sure. Hey, grown man. He just farted on the mic. Hey, if you want more of so that. So gross. Could have been a little man playing a small drum. <laughs> Listen to the episode, Wrestling and Farts. But anyway, moving on. Um, Brian, I- I'd love to be in a band with you, um, but I- but you don't have any musical talent. I have a lot yeah. of musical talent. I, 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 I can, I can I sing. sing. I sing the theme song to this show. Everybody uh, knows well, that. Well, I don't know about that. Did but that? I did, I did that. We did. We are friends. Did, Chris and I did. We are friends yeah. with Greg O'Connor. Well, it sounded the, great. Yeah. What did you do, dude? What did you sing? What have you done musically? I've done stuff. Well, really? What? I mean, I'm not going to sit here and, and sing all the songs that I've written, but I uh, write songwriting's my secret garden. Oh, really? Have you ever written a song for any any people that we'd know? Or yeah. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you're. I oh, I didn't know you're a songwriter. Oh well, for for who? Why are you being sarcastic? Yeah, who? No, I just didn't okay. know that about you. Okay. All right. You want to know for who? Yeah, yeah. For Springsteen. For what Springsteen? With her killer graces and her secret places that no boy can fill. With her hands on her hips and a smile on her lips, because she knows that you're. Uh, fucking hey, stop man. it! I told you I'd fucking elbow you in the fucking. Hey face. man, that fucking. 
Herbert, you didn't, you don't didn't fuck listen. around anymore. Are you, don't sing, dude. Are you out of your fucking mind, All right, man? relax, relax. I don't relax. I'm bleeding out of my fucking mouth. All right, I'm sorry. Mouth. Well, he gave you a fair warning. It's just a little shot. <laughs> just a little it fucking was, shot. It was a fucking you... tight elbow to my fucking was, corner of my mouth. It was hard, but it wasn't as hard as he could do yeah, it. Well, you were defending his behavior? Listen, I don't want to be... You know what the real problem is? You're fucking peeking the microphone. I don't give a shit about your job. Well, I'm fucking having a tough time. Just because I come up behind you and fucking elbow you in the side of your fucking grill. You elbowed me in the side of my mouth when I have to perform I'm sorry. Yeah, you're fucking sorry. Sorry? Yeah. I'm gonna do, how it, am I going to do comedy like this? Well, you know, you it's not. Was, it'll be funnier. I'm bleeding. It'll be funnier now. It's not funny. <laughs> I'm sorry for elbowing you in the face. Did Look, dude, you, who did you. Who have you done. Who have you written songs for? Gonna, you, I tell you what, I, you've probably done this. Do you ever, like, uh, you probably had a crush on, like, a sweet 23 year old boy, and then he fucking breaks your heart, and, and then you write whoa, a. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then you write whoa, a song. Whoa, whoa. I don't have a t- a fucking <laughs> and then you write a mouth. song for I what's bit her my face? Tongue. Who's that beautiful girl? Who's the beautiful? Uh, I don't have a fucking uh, who, crush on a twenty-three year old. Yeah, but boy. who's the beautiful uh, country western girl? The, Taylor the, Swift. Taylor Swift. Do you write tw- Taylor Swift songs? Taylor Swift. Hey, dude, is that what you do? You, you fall in love with Zac Efron life. and Taylor. Hey. Nick, Taylor, what's his hey. face? Lautner and look. I don't and write songs for. Her? No, I write songs for girls. Yeah, what girls? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's the girls I've dated in the business. <laughs> What girls have you dated in what business? Who have I dated? In the you business? dated that wrestler China, right? Hey yeah. man, the hey, one. Man. She has a. I dated. Uh, oh, my I, I'm not gonna go in. I'm not gonna go through the litany of the girls. Chris, stop us. singing! Ow! Oh! Oh, you hit Brian. I'm oh. sorry, I hit Brian. Oh God! <laughs> Well, oh, I told Brian I was to stop just, singing. I know, but I was just, cr- I wasn't even like trying to make I'm a point. Sorry, I was I'm just sorry. singing was, a little bit. He's closer to me, so I hit oh, Brian. I know, but. Hey, I told, I warned him, I fucking said, no, don't. Listen hey, to what, singing. Listen to what you're saying, though. Oh. You said, don't sing Brian, and then he stopped, and then he sang, you hit him, and he stopped, and then I was just like, oh, my hometown. And then, you, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, hey, Will. Oh, oh, no, oh, Will, oh, listen. Oh, oh, stop oh, it. All right, that's enough. All right. Are you listen, shitting? listen, Brian. I'm really sorry. Listen, Brian. Hey, Brian. Brian. Oh, he's got a lot of gas. He's got uh, a lot of air in his ass. Just fart that oh. silently oh. when you're I getting hit. The <laughs> shit my Brian, you didn't shit your no, pants. I shit, really. I shit my Brian shit his pants. Fucking. Oh. All right, take look, a break. Look at this. Chris, let's talk about something else. Oh my god. Oh shit. Look at all that shit, shit man. Dude. He's got so much shit. Go to the bathroom, dude. Chris, who's your favorite band who's, my not, favorite, who's not a rapper? No, I see. Oh, shit. You already got me, man. Yeah. No, my favorite uh, band is uh, David Gray when he's like, Leave me on hell. Leave me on hell. Leave me on hell. Home, Babylon. Leave me on hell. It's, it's Avalon. It's Avalon. It's, uh, I think it's at Babylon. No, it's not. It's, it's... Leave me on Oh, no, you're right. It is Leave Babylon. Leave me on hell. Leave me on Babylon. That's pretty good. Brian, did you clean your pants out? No. <laughs> Fucking. Smells like. Uh, Fuck like... you. You better throw that shower away. You can't. <clears throat> you can't throw a shower away, dude. That's the dumb. Hey, dude. That's literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life, man. Well, the fuck are we supposed to do? Strap up a fucking wire and towel to a fucking truck using, and then tie it around the fucking shower and then drive the well, shower I'm out of it? I'm using a figure of speech because I oh, fucking oh, okay. wash my jeans. Because I'm trying to rack my brain right now about the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard hey, in my life. man. And you're going to have to throw that shower away is number one. Okay, man. I, I'm a little fucking. I'm a little messed up. My head's a little dizzy. And yeah, I, this has been a weird podcast. No, it's yeah. okay though. Listen, we could get, bring it back on track. Listen, dude. All we got to do is just talk about something that happened recently, and then just oh fuck, oh, fuck, we fucked it, we fucked it. We got Brian is bleeding, He's shitting, shitting all over himself. <laughs> I sang a little bit. You sang a little bit. Sorry about that, Brian. Oh, yeah. And Will's done the whole podcast with only a hat on. Oh, yeah, I've, been, these, I've completely look naked. Fucking, look at these. Look how hard it is for me to wipe. Look at these warts. Look at my ass. Oh, oh what? Jeez. Brian. Oh, yeah. Brian. Yeah. It looks like a uh, roast beef Even though sandwich. you can't see Brian's ass warts, thanks for listening to the 10-Minute Podcast. Thanks for subscribing look and like downloading. Bananas. Look like bananas. Please, oh. please subscribe if you haven't already on iTunes. We're on Stitcher Smart small, Radio. Small At this point, nobody's listening. Flesh-colored bananas. We're on, small bananas. We're, if you say bananas one more time, I'll hit you. We're cluster, on Twitter. Cluster we're on, bananas. We're, small bananas. Oh, God. We're on iTunes. We're on Twitter at 10 Pod and Facebook slash 10 Pod. Oh. Brian's the shit coming out of his face.
There's a hole in his face. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, man. I got caught by the paparazzi today. All right, dude. I know. I got caught by the paparazzi okay. today. That's... I was leaving a, a deli in You're Beverly not Hills. Famous, I was having an yeah. Israeli right. salad and uh, right, tuna more salad. Why are you just be... chopped vegetables. You're obviously lying I'm low, because you're I'm low, being low, really low. specific about what you're, you're eating. Right? It was about the paparazzi. Low carb. Low carb. Some low. podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10 Minute Podcast. I was, I was hey, low. listen, why did you. Who gives a fuck your low carbonate, man? I'm low, low carbonate, man. Don't say it like that. Like it's I'm a fucking, you're, like it's an event. Yeah, your current event in it, I'm low carbonate. Nah, it makes me mad. Well, whatever. Sometimes people get mad. I went to the dentist. Then I went to the deli to Who just get some. Great story so far. And then oh, I went man. and I got this paparazzi guy. Great story. Oh, really? Yeah. My reach is really far. My reach, my, what I do with my comedy, what I do with All my right. gift, oh, God. what I do with my acting, oh, uh, God. dramatic acting and you know, acting. You're only in comedies and it's always... You played a stooge. No, yeah. I do. I you do. played a stooge. You never did stooge. a dramatic no, thing in I've your done, life. Oh, 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 really? You played oh, a stooge ever. where you had oh, no lines. Oh, for you just fu- made noise. You <laughs> for five idiot. years before I fucking even moved to LA when nah, I was a teenager, nah, I wasn't on an award-winning yeah, dramatic nah, series. Not a no? teenager anymore. No. I just fucking I just did two dramatic Stooge. movies back to back. Wow, really? Stooge. Okay, was fucking was Liam Neeson in them? Yeah, they're hoping was he for in no, either of them. No, they're no. hoping for a DVD oh, okay, deal. Then, but How's that? Then hey, explain you guys, yourself. But you guys, will Liam Sasso is in it. Uh, bam, <laughs> fucking bam. You guys, check do, this out. Give me my daughter back. Pretty, right, well, pretty good. I want whatever you took from me. That's actually not a good Liam. Well, you it's a little what, Irish. Uh, what is he, Scottish? No, no he's just... He's uh, Irish. He's Irish. He's Irish. He's Irish. Yeah, but so he's, that's not... He's, he's, he's selling Irish. a leprechaun. That's want, if he no, was a leprechaun. You took something from me Irish. and I want it back now. No, that's like Braveheart. No, that's, yeah, yeah. You sound... You actually sound like you're not even from... So oh, fuck he, now. He'd be here like, he here goes. we go, Brian. Uh, here we go, Brian. You're going to fuck it all up. They will take you. Listen to me now. They're going to take you. Listen to me now. No, he's right. That's the way it sounds. They will take you. They will take you. No, listen, kind of like you, this. You will be taken. Oh, you will be taken. I have a very Here's what's going to happen. No. You put down a phone, <laughs> leave it. it on. That's not it. Here's I what's going to happen. I have a very specific set of skills. Of course. I promise oh, I will find you and I will kill you. No, no, no. It's more like this. Listen to me. I've no. got a real specific set of skills. That's not it. Dude. Here's what we'll do. I can do karate. I can do judo. <laughs> and I'm real good at poison. That's yeah. that's not even. That's what that would. That's who is that? Liam Neeson. It's not Liam Neeson. That was man. in Taken. Look, I no, no, I no. I know a thing or two about voices and impersonations and stuff. And here's my best Liam Neeson. Okay. I'm Liam Neeson, <laughs> man. <laughs> That's nah, I'm Liam Neeson. No, that's no. always the eighth character in a Guy Ritchie movie. That's yeah, what you're doing. He, I am the eighth ri- character in a Guy Ritchie movie. Who's the guy with the fucking the bald head? Yeah, that dude. Lock, stock, and two yeah. smoking barrels. That guy's Roar, a real fun. The that same as Lois. Yeah. You boys gonna get off, and you know what you're gonna do. Yeah, that's But here's what you're gonna do for me. After you get a game, Raw, put it together. Then you come back, and if you don't come back, then I'll find you. And if I found you, I want you, bound you. <laughs> I don't know. I'll how is it. that? That's not bad. How is that? How did, did they find that guy? Is that, he, was a, he was a real fighter. That guy's killed he was, a, he was a bare knuckle you fighter. You know him? Yep. I'd read, there's a book he wrote. Oh. He was a bare knuckle fighter wow. in England and took on all comers back in the day. And he was just a legendary tough guy. Wow. Really? Oh, yep. Uh, and, That's so and, weird. And he was just a legendary badass, a real tough you, guy. You know how like, so he was, he's old now. So do you think like back then with, when he used to knock people out, you know how everyone advances and advances like baseball players now are way better yes. than Babe Ruth. Yes. Do you think that he could beat me up? Yeah. I, uh, he would, he would bare he knuck, could, he bare could knuckle not, guy? not only beat you up, he could fuck you. Uh, this is a true story. Shane Carwin, who you guys know as the um, heavyweight uh, who beat the crap out of Brock Lesnar until uh-huh. he, but he, lost. he gassed. Well, he gassed in the second round. But he's too, he's, after a workout, he's a trim 285 at 6'1. And I looked at him and he was so big and he squats like 700 pounds and he benches 550. I, squ- I squat he, 800. I he, bench he's the biggest. 620. Well, okay, but he's the biggest, he's the biggest man in the world. And, and and the biggest and the toughest guy in the world. A six I, six foot one, two hundred eighty five pound man is the biggest man in well, the world. Well, in that no, he's, no. The, he's, the, he's, he's the, the, the biggest man in the world. If you're the dumbest man in the world, <laughs> no, 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 no. What I mean by that is that he's the he's, he's the biggest the, man. He's, in the pro- world. he's arguably the toughest guy in the world, the best fighter. Like he can beat the shit out of pretty much everybody. Maybe two people on the planet can't beat him up, right? And I and, thank you. And I said to him, I go, I go um, <laughs> what? Why do you mean thank you? He said, "What you say?" No, I didn't compliment you. You Chris. said two people in the world. 
No, I didn't compliment you. You're being ridiculous. You now. thought he was talking about you? Oh yeah. No wait. Well, I'm sorry. What were you not? Spe- you weren't specific. No, I was talking about Shane Carwin. And who, how many people can beat him up? Maybe. Like two people. Thank you very much. No, you can't. Well, what beat are you him saying? Who? He's talking about. I, they're like they might be Junior Dos Santos, maybe. Am I the and other And maybe person? one other guy out there. I don't know. Thank you very much. But it'd be oh, a close Chris, fight. I think so it's you're you. Saying, so you're saying Junior Dos Santos and me? No. Could maybe best. You would suck his cock. No. You would suck his cock. No, 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 no. No, no. You would be his his cock sucker. No. He'd grab you by with one of those meaty hands, grab no, the no, back no. of that beautiful mane of hair. No, thank you, but no. And, and your mouth would be used as not only his 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 dick his dick uh, vacuum. No. But also, <laughs> if he ran out of toilet paper, you would clean his rump no. if he so chose. No, no, no. Hey, I bought He's it. He's a very I nice man. I actually was on. I was on late uh, late night last night. I was watching infomercials. I bought a dick vacuum. Okay, well, <laughs> the dick vacuum. easy payments because you're dealing with a nub. <laughs> Tired of picking up your own dick? Yeah. There's got to be a better way. There is now with the dick vacuum. <laughs> D- didn't didn't we have a? Uh... It's just guys picking up dicks and then a red X over it in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me ask you this. Here, here's the thing. When I look at the three of us as three guys that do a podcast, yeah. Um, Brian, you've hopped around a fucking mat here and there. You've you've done some wrestling, oh, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. You've done you've done some boxing. You know your way around the gym. Yeah. Chris, you've done some what is some jujitsu, yeah. dance, that sort of thing. You're some also dance. you're a big guy. What are you six three? I'm yeah about six three. About six three. Yeah. You're six one and a half. I no, am not. You no, Chris fucking is a tall asshole. guy. He's, he's almost six three. He's about six, six three. three. I, 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 dude, he's got he's got nah. broad shoulders. I'm nah. I'm I'm a natural six three, and I'm I'm built like if a Kodiak bear oh. and a silverback gorilla fucked. Yeah, we know. That's what oh, would happen. Then you shaved yeah. it and put fucking Bruce Willis's face on it. Okay, like yeah, a young I mean, Bruce uh, you Willis. Know, like, no, don't man. push it. Yeah, you know, yeah. 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 I'm, I have. You know when like Tom Selleck shaves his fucking mustache for a for a western, and you're like, sure, yeah. Whoa, he's beautiful. That's right. my face. No, no man. So I've got, no. I've got a gladiator no, gladiator helmet for a face and a no, Kodiak man. bear That's gorilla not body. Even necessarily. No, good. Tom Selleck I, ate here's a my, shitload of sodium. My, if he guzzled sodium, went to sleep. For five, hey, 15 hours off. and fuck woke you. up and then held his breath for a minute. But wait, that's what your face would look like. <laughs> that's very mean. But, but here's no, my point. Telling you, here's I'm my point. Saying. I don't think, and I'd like, I'd like actually, I'd like people to weigh in on this. You can write about this in the in the in our iTunes reviews. You can hit us up on Twitter at, at Ten Min Pod. You can hit us up on Facebook slash Ten Min Pod. Is there a I, podcast out there that can beat up the Ten Minute Podcast? I don't think so. I think we beat the shit out of just about any podcast out there. Well, yeah, Rogan, that's pretty Rogan, abstract. That's yeah, pretty the abstract us, because the three of us would converge don't on Rogan. fight. You know, Rogan is the only guy who would. Yeah, but fucking, the three of us. Would, oh, you're would, saying would converge the three? Oh, you're saying yeah, no, us three versus any other podcast. We'll oh, beat the man. shit out of any yeah, podcast. Maybe. Yeah, but there's who some... the fuck? Who do we get? It's a bunch of hipster fucking yeah, that's comedians. True. That's pretty true. A bunch of weird fucking you know guys yeah. like you know connect doing. Well, Rogan maybe could beat the shit out of the three of us. Together. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I'll. Not a shot. Not, okay. sure. not the three of us. Because you're saying because of my the background. Of us, you're saying you're saying now because of my background. No, you. We don't need. Here's you, what you, you would, do. If, if, no, Joe, if we me. fought Joe Rogan, Will and I would have to take him out, and we'd, no. we'd come in on him, converge on him. You would hop around, no. producing estrogen, no. and going like this. Because no. you wouldn't know what to do. Because you you faint, and then you would faint because you faint at even a little bit of violence. You know, you no, I think you know what they call me when I took jujitsu. I took jujitsu for six years. You know what they called me? What's that? Legs McGee. That's a, sh- that's a they that's did because the they couldn't get around him. They couldn't get around him. No matter what happened, they couldn't get around him. I think I think true. that there's I don't think there's a podcast out there that we couldn't beat the living snot out of. Adam Carolla has a history in boxing, but there's three of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. We so, are. Uh, we we, we be, should actually take over and bully the other podcast. Let's do that. I really want to do that. I really want to beat the shit out of some other uh, some some of our great okay, podcast so competition. What do you want to call our gang? Ten minute podcast. Nah, Shithead. We need a better gang name. Um, um the Razors. No. The scorpions, the how black, about, the black scorpions. Uh, how, how, about, about the, how about the poisonous snakes? No, that's just kind of like something the, already. The, the you know? vipers. Um, no, that's already how something. How about the baseball furies? They were the toughest gang in the Warriors. That movie, the I Warriors. I know, dude, but they no, already... but let's make up our own thing. Yeah, let's make like, up our own. How about uh, this? Fucking Doozlemites. Doozlemites. We're the Doozlemites. Yeah, that's what we are. Made up a word, dude. <laughs> that's the best thing. You don't know how bad a doozle might hey, can fuck you Hey, thanks for up. listening to the 10 Minute Podcast. We're the doozle mites. And uh, thanks for subscribing and downloading. Doozle mites. That's our, that's our gang song. Please subscribe if you haven't already on iTunes. We're on Twitter. Doozle. Shut the 
fuck up. The doozies. Shut the fuck up. We're on Twitter at 10MinPod. Oh, God. Facebook slash 10MinPod. We're also oh, on Stitcher. At Stitcher Smart at Radio. At Brian Callen. Never at go Will to Sasso. his. At Will Sasso. Hamfatter.com. Hey, here comes the... How many children are in your semen? Uh, gross. When you... Well, that's how... Ew. That's how children are made. They're in... Yeah, they're in th- 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 not, no, there's children in your balls. Ugh. There's children in no, your that, balls. That's not really... There's children in my balls. There's children in everybody's balls. Even children's Some balls. Some podcasts are slow And you don't know how long they last That's why you're listening to 10-Minute Podcast And when you when you, the children come out of your balls, they go through your dick. Welcome no. to the 10-Minute Podcast. No. They don't... Like kids with arms and legs come out of your dick? No, kids. Little it, kids. Okay, what, a, what do they look like? Anyway, they don't is, look like kids. That's, that's Will Sasso. Welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. We are uh, sponsored by Amazon. You hit the banner on our website and also Gamefly. Don't matter. Brian. Brian, you gotta stop, stop farting. farting into the <laughs> okay. fucking microphone. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Kellen. I'm Chris Wonderlust Delia. <laughs> but so I'm trying a new thing out. Just do me a favor. Wonderlust? Never, never have yeah. kids. Wonderlust. Why, sh- why would I never have kids? Because you'd be a terrible father because no. you're a terrible example. He'd be a no. fun dad. No, I'd be a really a- fun dad. And also, I'm very creative, so I would spread my creative seed into the world. Yeah, and that's yeah. good. You're a tall That's what child. I have. I got nothing but creative seed in my balls because I'm so creative. No, neither one the way you-, you say it is kind creative of disrespectful. Seed? Like you, you- I have creative seed in my balls. That's not really like how it – that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm I talking want- about is my – my kids, my lifeline, my yeah. blood, you know. No, you shouldn't breed. Your shit breeding stock, as are you, Will. No, you have I'm not. to offer a child. No, 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 You don't know how to no, raise I'd be a an amazing, child. I'd be an amazing father. I'd be an amazing father. You, I'd, be a, I'd be a wonderful father. I would, I would embed a moral code that would, be, that would last with the child long after I'm dead, which may happen because I'll die from exhaustion from having so much creative seed in my balls. Okay, dude. You, God, you know, and man. And siring, siring so many. No. I don't know. You, neither one of you know how to raise a boy. Yes, for example. I, do. I, have a, I have a boy. I don't raise a boy. I raise you a man. A There's your I, first mistake. I'm actively raising. I raise a man. You raise a boy, and he grows up, and he's like, can I have some wawa? And he's 27 years old? No. that's No, you don't do that. Uh, look, manhood. What, what's it like man, raising your boy, Brian? Manhood, like steel, yeah. must be forged. <laughs> it must be forged. Like and fake? I would forge my son. Like I would fake? forge my son. Like you forge a signature? Into a man. All right. No, like you forge a sword. No, my son will begin his training at the age of five. Training? Are you going to send him to one of those Chinese ballet schools where they say it's ballet, but really they beat the shit out of a young Sammo Hung and Jackie Chan until they're flipping around doing stunts for themselves? My son will not be a trick fool monkey like you guys. My son will be a warrior. My son will be groomed to be a hero. My son will understand that comfort and feelings take a much lower seat, much lower rung. Then do honor and glory. He will learn that fear is an illusion. At the age of five, he will be separated from his mother. No, don't do that. All right, yes. listen. What? She will wail. No. She will reach for him. You sound like you sound his, like the you sound like Uncle Angus from uh, from uh, Braveheart or something. He'll sleep on a cold marble slab. First, learn to use this. Then, I'll teach you. To use this, he's holding for, at first end. That's when he's holding his penis, and yeah. then he's holding the other guy's penis. <laughs> so yeah. no. we should no, do we no. should do commentary for movies so yeah. that we can redo their fucking. Yeah. De- first, I'll teach you to use this, and then holding Chris his said, penis. Then I'll teach you to use this, holding the other guy's penis. No, no, no. That would have made Braveheart so much better. Yeah. Uh, first, first. Yeah, I'll teach you these days. I'll tell you what. I I, I I would love to have some children. I've always looked uh, forward to fatherhood. I almost got married a few years ago. Uh, wonderful gal. We're still great friends. But I'm 37 years old right now, and I think what I'd like to do is by this time next year, um, by the late summer of 2013, early fall, I would like to have five children. All right. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah. In one year? Wait a yeah. minute is right. And I want to take them on vacation. And, you know, I was just up yeah. in the Canadian Rockies. It was beautiful. And yeah, but wait, my, wait, wait, no, wait, listen, wait. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. But you, you, you physically can't do that unless you find five different women that are. No, I'd be one very special gal. Okay. Well, she would be very special because she'd be the only girl in history, really, unless they were all twins. Yeah, well, you'd have to take a f- fertility or, drug. Or what do you call it? Not twins, but... Se- yeah. what I want, I want uh, quadruplets and an Irish twin. So that means she will... I'll impregnate her. I'll meet this woman tomorrow. I'm putting that out into the universe. Um, and then I will you, impregnate her. To. Yeah. And then she will And then she will give birth nine months from now mm-hmm. to four babies. Mm-hmm. And then I'll... But I'll be packing her full the whole 
time. So she'll just shit yeah. out another one. What does that give her? Three months? No, actually, that takes nine months also. So, yeah. No, yeah. but but I can have a child that's only been in in her uterus for three months because I'm a big strong guy. So, no, that's, yeah. no, we're not. Well, you know nothing no, about we're not when I was born. When I was born, I was. All, just about 12 pounds and I was 24 inches long that's the truth okay. I was 2 feet but tall that, and my mom is 5 feet tall that's so, crazy yeah no it's crazy my mom always says in her sweet little Italian accent William was never a baby um, it's true. Also says, says, were you, were you William 12 is a pounds? loser. I was, I was almost 12 pounds and I was 24 inches long. And oh my, my God. And, and my doctor had to separate my shoulder to get me out. That's this joking. big. 24 pounds and 12 inches. Tw- 24 inches 24 and 12, inches 12 pounds. pounds. That's this big, dude. Had... That's this big. Don't, oh, don't. Oh, no, dude. Oh, man. Oh, he's pulling his dick out. Oh, oh. 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 Holy shit. Oh, what do you have? Well, it's all swwollen. Oh, what did you do? Did you shoot it full of sodium? What did you do? Oh, jeez, put it away. That's God. fucking big. So just so you know how it is. Anyway, I think I, I could sire five kids by this time next year. No. I if the, I just need like a big Viking type woman. I want that woman. You know when you got like, you know when there's like a big tall woman, she looks like she could be on a volleyball team, but she doesn't have a whole lot of vert. You know, she can't jump very high. And she looks like she's like a vert. sturdy 180 a girl, pounds. A girl, a girl but built she has for the fields. Built for the fields, yeah, yeah. for mowing and plowing and yeah. planting. And she's got like those uh, braided uh, mm-hmm. ponytails, like yeah. the St. Pauli girl. Well, and how, and you Take and how's her, her cock? How's her, no, cock? her <laughs> cock? Well, she's got two lines pointed down yeah. in her fucking stomach. Mm, Even yeah. though she's a bigger chick, you got like, right to her balls. She's got yeah, and you're just her thighs. Like I want a chick that I like could try to punch in the middle of lun- love making, and she would just catch my fist like you know Schwarzenegger or Stallone now, or Nemanja. You're, 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 you're talking about a guy. You're talking about a guy. You're talking about a girl with a big blonde. You're talking ball. about Patrick Ewing. Just is what a you're big, talking about. You're talking about a, a big bear blonde bear paw, a grizzly paw for for a cunt. Yeah, I want a big. Don't say that, please. Don't say. That please, because no, because she's be she'd be a big blonde. She, you'd say she'd have that's fine. When you, she pulled her pants down, you go, that's Oh, fine. that's a grizzly that's paw. No, <laughs> you can't. Looks no, like a grizzly don't say that. Paw. Listen, yeah, we, in the ooh. summers, when the grizzlies get a little blonde, you no. know, and she, she and her and it tastes and her and uh, her, cunt really go tastes, vacation. her cunt tastes like old Heineken. <laughs> Listen, man, uh, I gotta draw the line, dude. We all have moms, and we can't talk like that, man. All right, but I'm just saying it'd be a big old, wouldn't it be a triangle because she let it grow for so long and come down to the middle of her thigh, and you'd get lost in that. Bear paw. Uh, Chris, Brian's balls are all shriveled up because he's 61 years old, so he's never having any more kids. Mm. How many How many kids do you want? Mm, one. Just one? One, yeah. Boy, it, boy or girl? Um, both. Both. They do both. <laughs> you want a her, hermaphrodite? You want a hermaphrodite? You want no, a they her, both, and then he <laughs> reproduces within himself like a seahorse or whatever. <laughs> Is it, and is it, and then he impregnates himself, himself, <laughs> and then uh, they and then he has a family, and I am the grand, like you're the wizard. W- you're, well, yeah, I don't want to say grand wizard, but yeah, I am could, the grand. You're Doctor Moreau. Is what basically, yeah, is what I am. Yeah, you should call you the baby. Can you call your child himself? <laughs> do you know that? Do you know Craig Venter's team Shimself who invented Delia. synthetic biology? Who, They're talking yeah. about how we're and gonna... snore. <laughs> Yep, we're gonna be able to cross pollinate DNA, and uh, you will be able to control your own basically species. We will be, we will. There's, it's out there that you'll be able to create. Yeah. Sort I'm gonna of make a guy with wings. I can swim underwater. I'm gonna make creatures. a guy that could swim, could, that could fly and you will, swim underwater. You'll have, you'll have people who can swim underwater because you'll have nanobots the size of and red blood cells. And that person's that my son, and he has crazy nanobots. Okay, well, all right, Chris, but the point is, is that that's his, that's it's his not middle that name. far-fetched. His name, his name is Shimself, Sh- Crazy Nanobods Dalia. By yeah. the time we're 90 or whatever it mm-hmm. is, well, you'll, you'll, you'll be I'll be 70. 70. I'll be 70. You'll be 90. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be 62. I'll be 62. Okay. No, you're not, I'm not that much older than you, and that's mm-hmm. really annoying to me. All right? I'd be, if you were 62, I'd be 69. 69. <laughs> right, guys? Oh, uh, shit, man. Shimself, speaking of 69, Shimself can do some really crazy things. <laughs> You'll both be dead. Without a girl you doing both, 69. You both are not going to make it past 60. You're anemic. You no. have no iron in your blood. No, 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 no. And, and you're drawn and sallow. And, Will, um, you're going to die because you're an asshole and no one likes you. And That's someone is going to murder you. Well, I, I'd welcome someone to try because I will use you, Brian, as my self-defense weapon. Guess oh, what? Wow. Shimself could kick all your fucking asses because he's his own species. S- stop saying Shimself. Shimself, crazy nanobot. Dalia can fuck all you guys up. <laughs> Brian, can I use you as and a And then bat? swim away. And, and then I, swim away. My son, my son will, be, will be taught to, to hate both of you. And when you're old and you're decrepit, my son, my young son, my heir, my namesake will show up 
in his battle fatigues with a small knife, a small box knife. And he'll cut Thanks you, for listening cut to you the, quickly. Thanks for listening to the 10-Minute Podcast. Thanks for subscribing, downloading yes. on iTunes. We're on Stitcher Smart Radio. We're yes. on Twitter, at 10-Minute Pod. Quick. Jim Self and we crazy are on Facebook, the slash cut you to the quick. Pod. He'll cut you to the quick. And Rises die. from... We're the Christian king, the Christian king, the Christian king. No, come on. Don't if sing were, that again. If you agree with us, then we will be Nobody your friends. Nobody likes this song. But if you don't agree that Christ is king, we'll cut your Stop. fucking Shut head up. off. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Sing that fucking that song. That stupid song ever fucking interrupts my Christian Kings, my Christian Kings song. With a Christian Kings, can you with say, Christian Kings. Can you say Christian Kings without doing it like that? Christian Kings, the Christian Kings, that's there what we are. There are over 120 are. tendons in the human foot, which we will remove if you do not no. agree. With, with the, the Christian ten- Kings and the, the Christian Kings. The tendons of the Lord. Tenements ten- of the Lord. And the tendons in your foot. Welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast. Uh, brought to you fucking Amazon. You go to the website, it's Amazon. Shitting. Game Shitting. Game Shitting. Brian, say Gamefly. Gamefly! Okay, okay, Brian. All right. Okay. All right, man. All right. Okay. Okay. (laughs) My name is... It's really too bad you didn't pass out. My name is Will Sasson. I'm Brian the Kid Callen. I'm Chris D'Elia. And uh, here we are with you again on the 10 Minute Podcast. Right? Guys, I, yeah. I did it. What'd you do? I got a stylist. Oh, God. And oh, uh, man. he has hooked me up with all sorts of great free stuff. You changed. so cheesy, nope. bro. All What's right. this? But he's got a bag of things. Okay, that's a fucking hat. That's a fedora. You make fun of me. Dude, that, and the... you're wearing it so high up on your head. Well. <laughs> Can I take a picture of you in that? I gotta... Absolutely uh, fuck not. Okay, no, forget it. Because right, that's cool. the worst hat of all time. Joke's on you. Didn't get a stylist. Uh, you know, you, know um, it, you bring up a point because the three of us were just at Intelligentsia uh, uh, in Silver Lake. Yeah. And great fucking coffee. It's Fantastic great coffee, coffee. But God, you see the most pretentious group. First of all, the let's name start, Intelligentsia. Let's start by saying it's some of the best coffee you've ever had for real it is some of the best coffee you've ever had and at five dollars a cup it fucking well that's better be. that is true yeah. okay but having said that the 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 atmosphere where the guy's got a he's dressed like a 1920s conductor <laughs> he's got suspenders he's got armbands that, you know what that's for bands. you know what that's for i asked him i said what are those for and he said oh it's so my my sleeves don't go down those and had, dip into the coffee i said hey right. why don't you roll your sleeves yeah. up but yeah. well those had a function in 1922 when you were a barber when in we the, wore in spats the, in, in the old west yeah and you wore things to keep your socks yeah. up and, yeah. Yeah. and sort of they're ridiculous but he was on a horse he was on a horse uh, oh he was on a horse my, while he made your coffee, coffee. Yeah. yeah it's like hey dude um, let me ask you when you're sick do you leech do you leech yourself? if you if you ever wanted to get coffee if you ever wanted a great cup of coffee served to you by uh dexy's midnight runners in the music video come on eileen Go to Intelligence. If you want great coffee but hate not getting served by Wyatt Earp, <laughs> go to Intelligentsia. That's what they're hate saying should be. Not only, yeah. only, only not nearly as tough as Wyatt Earp. Yeah. Only could they, those guys, the guys in the in that place, the guys who drink the coffee and the guys that work there, have the lowest blood sugar of all time. I can't believe they drink coffee. They they're should the call that place. That own... They should call that place Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Coffee because yeah. that's what everyone's dressed like. <laughs> that's right. That's dumb. Hey guys, let me ask them. Do you have a pet? hamster at home do you sip tea <laughs> well look i will say this instead of wearing hair nets which i've never seen in a coffee shop they do wear hats like look here, here's all what's of them up. wear hats in fact the only guy that didn't wear a hat was the guy with the armbands that was the only guy i've ever seen with no so hat you need some... a hitler the guy had a, the one i saw had a hitler yeah the exact same haircut hitler has yeah. literally well well you you know we were saying this we the three of us did go out for coffee silver lake is sort of a trendy neighborhood and we were near there and so we went for coffee and and um and brian you did say this that that, that it's to elicit a reaction. I mean, if someone has a Hitler haircut, you yeah. know, if if I may, I don't want to look. I think everyone should be whatever they want, express themselves however they are. We're in a city like Los Angeles where people live their expression. That's fine. We're not closed-minded cocksuckers. But you just but, apologize for Hitler, and he's that you're obviously a Hitler. Fan. No, I'm not a Hitler. You're fan. fanatical. Well, he's fanatical. He, you were talking to me about Mein Kampf the other day. No, right? and I've about never how read you Mein Kampf. In all of it. No, no, no. You, I do you, not. You memorized Mein Kampf. No, I did not read nor memorize Mein Kampf. You, you're you're a Titanic anti-Semite. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, and you're, you're known you're, for that. You're, in Hollywood. you're a deep admirer of. I'm I'm, t- I'm history. Italian. I'm Southern Italian, which means that I'm close to a Libyan. I'm like African. 
You know as, what I mean? As am I. I'm sustained. That's why. That's why I have such. That's why I have the red twitch. Uh, the, the 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 muscle the, fiber. The muscle fiber. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually well, an African. I'm a big okay. white well, African. Okay. okay. Well, call me. You call me the the Samoan Hulk. That's fine. You should also start calling me. The white African. The white African. All right. Because I'm like. Well, have see, you now remember the, in Africa, you'd have to be from the West Coast. There's a. There, I believe the West Coast Africans, like the Nigerians, have a higher ratio of fast twitch muscle, whereas the Kenyans, the Ethiopians, they they are almost all slow twitch, which is there why they go. can run forever. And that, ever. yeah, that is true. I did know that. You didn't know that. Um, I know a lot about Africa. Uh, but, um, but let's get back to, um, to what we were talking about with the intelligentsia. Yeah, I, I think it's to elicit a reaction because it, when you see guys who are dressed and girls who are dressed just that tragically hip, it's, it's, a, it's a basically a, a walking, it's a form of hostility. Mm. It's kind of a walking yeah. fuck you. And the big, biggest problem is that instead of like working on who they are and what they can do, they basically are trying to, trying to be significant Stop. by fucking style over substance style over that's substance. i created i coined that term no. in no i think in 1984 you no, didn't no you didn't 1984 you were four years old yeah. it, that was my first kind of word like phrase that i did <laughs> no 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 we're gonna ask dial over no, substance I don't think, you know speaking like of style over substance, dial over, dial sub- over substance. <laughs> when you were a baby that's yeah. what you said and then i shit in my diapers yeah well you know yeah. you, you like that oh, brian God, you no, turned brian, on please. Mm-hmm. No, listen. So, uh, so, and there was all. To- we're not joking about this. Everyone. There was a guy outside on the phone with a little mini mustache that sucked. Well, yeah, there was that- also another guy that walked by that had high pants on and a shirt tucked in. And You'd have then to there was another shop. guy. You have to go to a costume. There's shop another guy that walked by that had suspenders, yeah. high pants, and Elton John. Uh, no, uh, uh, no, John yeah, Lennon Elton- glasses. Yeah, no, Elton John glasses. John Lennon real. glasses. Okay, the and big- then he had a mullet. Yep. It's like it was. He was very mod. He was jumping right out. Of you know so what? I, you know what I think is hilarious though that there's guys that a lot of those people truly. Besides the fact that it's a hostility thing is what you're saying. I think a lot of times and what it, it what it started as is I'm going to disguise my ugliness, physical ugliness, <laughs> maybe for yeah. real. Like well, no, I'm, I'm they, so ugly that at least if I have some yeah. shit going on, yeah. Yeah. people will be like, "Oh, he's different." Well, none of them. But can now do that. what yeah. gets me is you've got really good looking guys coming to that yeah, bullshit because but no, but they want to fit in. None of and you're interrupting me. And you're interrupting me. And you're and you're interrupting me. And that's the whole problem of this podcast. That's the problem now. That's the thing That's because the whether thing. it's we should talk Big about Killer that. Jones yeah. don't call or me don't call me or Conversation Strangler Stevens, <laughs> which is what you are. <laughs> Don't call me. Con- yeah. So wait, are you giving, you're you giving Brian a new don't nickname? Call yeah. Me conversation, conversation Strangler Stevens. Stevens. Yes. Don't call your me. conversation Strangler Stevens. That's don't, your name, aka don't. Bit Killer Jones, aka I, Brian Callen. Don't call me Conversation hey, you know, Strangler don't be there. Stevens. The, it, but I do agree with Chris. You gotta shut up. Yeah, when you someone's gotta talking. shut the fuck up. Like he's he's the, the, if, the reason I, I actually talk, I, I want our listeners to go back and just listen to that fucking minute. Yeah. From like six minute six to minute seven. Where Chris is trying to get a fucking word. Trying to get a fucking point. And but what I... happens is, shut the fuck up, is I have to rush my point because I know you're just chomping at the bit to be conversation strangler Stevens. But what and I that's had... not cool. He's but, doing it now. But, also, but, but what also I have to... move back, back, back from the off fucking, the fucking microphone, microphone and don't pop it. But what I... But what I have to say is ha- has a lot more, a lot more texture, a lot more depth. I'm no, smarter no, than you guys. No, you're not. So the people no, want to hear not. what I have to I've say. read Mein Kampf 17 times. Holy oh, shit! I've memorized Will, it. Listen, Will, you're what, not smarter than Will, me. Will, you fucking just admitted to reading. Right, you're a fucking. You're a Titanic anti-Semite. Look, there's just some points in there that I think that we'll, were, we'll get okay, to share. Listen, Whoa. we can do that. That's we're we're going to po- take the direction of this podcast in a different direction no, next please. week. No, listen, no, I listen, don't be listen. Part of that. You weren't going to make the points that I was making. I brought up that now good-looking dudes are trying to disguise their ugliness, and they don't fucking have any. Nah, That's I'm bullshit. Much, can I'm, I, much, I'm, I'm way ahead of you. Can I no, make, can n- I make n- a point? N- 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 can I make a point to the contrary? Here's the thing that fascinates me: what? the girls that are super hot that are making themselves fucking ugly. That's what I'm saying. Hats and fucking. Weird That's the same thing hair. I just said, only with dudes. Yeah. Well, you like. But dudes. you fuck dudes. I like style. No, That's I like chicks. I like style on a girl. Shut I don't up. mind. I don't Shut mind up. when they. Uh, I don't like those bull rings that people wear in their nose. Please stop wearing bull rings in your nose. It's gross. Look, I guess the point. What we're trying to say here as a ten minute podcast, gang, to all you is, hey. Be yourself. Express yourself. Okay, no, no man. that's exactly not what we were saying. Yeah. Some people saying. need to get knocked the fuck out. That's if right. If you have on, <laughs> if right. you have on John Lennon sunglasses, you get you're knocked out. Or, you're, or, or I don't know. Ha- 
have your head removed from your body. Yeah, so you don't have to look at them. If you have on a fucking fedora with like, uh, you know, a, a diamond on it, you're knocked out. Do you know what I want to do? I want to come in with a meat cleaver and go, Happy Sunday! <laughs> <laughs> Even <laughs> if it's not Sunday. Yep, and start do you have a mustache guys. that's thin and looks like if you put milk on it, a cat could lick it off? You get knocked Thanks out. Thanks for listening to the 10 Minute Podcast. Thanks for listening and downloading, subscribing on Shit iTunes. Happy on Twitter Sunday. at 10 Min Pod. We're on Facebook Shit slash 10 Min Pod. Happy Sunday! We're on Stitcher Smart Radio and... We're on stuff. Hey guys, what are you doing? No, don't do that. Chris is making a mouth noise and I'm breathing. Yeah, man, don't do that. It's so creepy. Honestly, it makes me... It balls my fist up. I want to punch somebody in the face, man. Don't do that, dude. Some podcasts are slow And you don't know how long they last That's why you listen to 10 Minute Podcast Welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast, brought to you by Amazon.com. Go to our fucking website and no, hit the banner. No, <laughs> Chris no. says don't, no, no. but we'll get... Don't all do right. that. Don't support the show. Go to... And Gamefly. Don't, don't go to Gamefly. No. That's also on our site. It's all on the site, 10MinutePodcast.com. No. Don't tell us who you are, Will. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Callum. And I'm Chris D'Elia, and I'm lounging. I'm lounging Dude, like this. You're lounging like a magician, and you got a ridiculous <laughs> fedora on. He's laying on this, on this I, I, sofa I, behind I, us. I've known you a long time, and I don't mean to sound, make this sound hostile. If I could boot you as hard as I could in the fucking noggin right now, I would. I'd like to kick you under the chin and take your head off. Brian, if you knew that there were no legal ramifications, no no papers to fill out with the cops, I I want to take. I want to take three steps and football. No, because I'll tell you what, dude. Football punch your fucking head off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'll tell you what. For real. No, because I'll tell you what. If you did that, guess what? I wouldn't file a report. I wouldn't fucking. I wouldn't get you the police be involved. Able to. Oops! Shut up. But what I would do is, I'd just fucking be like, "There, that's what you do. You, that's who you are. What are you're, you? you're a guy who bre- who who beats up his friends, and that's bullshit. You're but you, you and I make you feel bad. And oops, and oops again, because I'm talking, and that would be shitty of you. And you'd be a, a fucking you like bad a, person. Bite your tongue off. Conversation bite your tongue strangler off. Steven. No, don't call me that. Stevens. Yep, that's how you are. Don't Conversation that, Strangler Stevens. I'll side By the way, you. Brian, I didn't you're, call it. Chris came up with the nickname. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't please a woman. I heard. I heard oh, that. me? Yeah. Are you, are you out of your stone? No. When I'm driving hilt deep, <laughs> when I'm driving hilt bristle deep. <laughs> Well, that's not even that deep. When I'm driving bristle deep, and it's not you're that telling deep. me is I it, can't wreck a woman's is it, life. Is it bristly because you've shaved it clean for a guy, and then guys, later it's like guys, a week later, and you're yeah. going back to chicks, I don't, and I don't, it's bristly? No. Yeah. And it rubs against her yeah. good stuff? No, no, no. Yeah. Listen, guys. That's what it is. When I'm bristle deep, I've made girls sing, and I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm Brian. not joking. Girls who aren't even musical are like, ah, 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 ah. Are they falling off a building? <laughs> Hey, listen, Brian, how do you – wait, you know what we should talk about for real, though, what? is uh, how do you actually for real, really for real make love and really? have sex? It depends. You and, want to and, talk about And that? the difference of it, the difference between making love and, and, and having oh, sex. Oh, there's a huge difference. There's I know, and, and, but what is your – what is what are your I'll intricacies you, and nuances? The way the way I make love is, is you know, I, I like to hold a girl. I like to support a girl under her back and her neck, and I'm extremely fucking strong. So one thing I can do are that they, you two awake? fucking twigs can't. Are yes. they awake? Yes, they're oh, awake. Oh, okay, I don't know. Is I pick their entire body up off the bed with one arm with them their spine resting on my forearm and pull them towards my cock yeah. and you do that while you look in a girl's eyes oh, and she'll, she'll fall in love I know but women emit a chemical um, I, we know after this alright well anyway it the makes point them is, love you Right, yeah. right. So when I make love to a woman, I literally create love. I don't say make love. I I say, would you like to create love? Okay, dude. Oh, but that's you, a but complete not, sexual you, turn off. You, you fuck blow up dolls. I'm no. talking about a real human being. <laughs> okay, like, well, what do you do with your real human being? Yeah. How so you, that's making love, though. Yeah. You want to hear how I fuck? Yeah, how do you do it? Okay, that? here's the thing about me. I'm pushing three bills right now, and at 250 pounds, I lost like a shit ton of weight like 12 yeah. years ago or something, yeah. and at 250 pounds, I was 8% body fat. That mm-hmm. means that that's me with just the... That's the fucking cock diesel Will Sasso right there. That's just me shredded the. That's fuck down. you to your essence. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I, at 250 pounds, I'm 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 I have the same body fat percentage of of a Roger Federer. Okay. So so okay. so you're 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 just you're so just right now, all alloy, alloy, uh, alloy. Yeah. So like when you look at me alloy now, it's like alloy. it's hard mm. to believe. I just look like a scaled up version of Roy Jones Jr. painted white. That's, right. um, that's really ridiculous. yeah. That's what I look so like. Don't so compare when I, yourself to these sporting greats. Yeah. It's so annoying. I, it's annoying. So when I. Annoying. So when I fuck a 
girl. Right. I'm bringing close to three bills of pressure, and that we're talking. We got to factor in velocity in there, and your nub, and your four inch <laughs> round doorknob nub. You're no, dis- it's dis- not disappoint- four inches. You're disappointing. So if I, if I wart hold, riddled if, nub, and also I take a lot of fucking yoga, and I can do a fucking handstand, nah, a headstand. Yes, nah, I can. Now nah, you can. I'll do one right here. I swear to God. And if I hold a chick down by her fucking calves or behind her knees, and get, get, bless I'm you. I'm sorry. I'm allergic she to. She sneezes. She You're sneezes. fucking dumb bullshit. Anyway, it's it's hard and rough. Chris, how do you make love? Uh, well, no, Brian, you 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 want to take Brian? I'm sure you can't talk about this for 45 minutes. Well, I I will. I, I, <laughs> Joe, don't don't make fun of me. When I make love, um, that's a personal thing. But um, I, I I've been known. I will ruin a girl for other men. That's that's a given. Um, because I communicate with a woman on a very deep level. Um, she can feel my heartbeat. I can control my breathing and my heart rate and I can, I can, she can feel my heartbeat. But I I think that what I try to do is get, I ride so deep. I ride so deep and girls are always amazed. They have that much, that much. They they have that much of a pussy, so Wait, I, yeah. What? I, no no no. I, I do. You I get so places. deep that they're like, oh god, I, got, I didn't know I, got I had a, that I much lay, pussy. I, I put a flag up there where none of you guys can even. You can't even get to the entrance of what I get where, where I break into. I'm on the top of their mountain, if you understand what mm-hmm. I'm saying. So you're, in that sense, they've never been touched. I tickle their belly you, button you, from the inside. You the top of cunt mountain. <laughs> Top of God. Man. By Please the way, by the way, mountain. Brian, we're cracking your innuendos. We, we're getting them. Okay. You, yeah. Especially because you started with they didn't know they had that much pussy. <laughs> so when you say I'm at the top Did of I their say mountain, pussy? I meant, we know what I you meant, mean. I didn't mean pussy. I meant cunt. Oh no! Oh, don't, don't say, say that. that. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Chris. But I say it with love. And when I'm, but Joe Rogan always says if you're if you're making love, you're facing each other. If you're fucking a girl from behind, you're fucking. Yeah. And um, and and uh, I usually. Um, at that point, I like to grab a fistful of hair. And of your own. And just rock own, out. I like to grab my own hair. <laughs> I like to, no, I like to, run, I like to actually run push. my... I like to run my fingers through my hair while I'm looking in the mirror and taking a girl from behind. That's your my sex, favorite position. Your, I have a feeling when you fuck a girl, it's a lot like the George Michael Faith video. <laughs> you know, where he's just like around, rocking out. A lot of spinning it, around. A lot of and r- white background. Back and forth. Yeah. Leather um, jacket. Chris, you're the I, romantic jaguar. Yeah. So I've, uh, I can tell you this, man. I've had sex with over six women. And <laughs> I have... Uh, but I've never had sex. I've never done it. It's always right. lovemaking. Even how, if how it's, do you get them to put a strap on, though? How do you no, get them to do that? <laughs> No, I don't know. I don't know, but how do you <laughs> listen? To me, how man. do you break that listen ice? Like me, where man. I want to get, I want to get taken. Man. I can take it like what a woman. I do is what I do is I I I, uh, I imagine while I'm having sex with them, and this is a secret, so please don't tell anybody. Okay. I imagine while I'm making love with them, I am looking in their eyes, and I'm imagining that I'm consuming them. Really, Whether like eating it, them? Where? Yeah, eating, eating, consuming, having them become me, and that's the love I make. Do you know what? And I it's a, real. Do you know what I had a girl say to me? And this is not a joke. Chris has the biggest dick ever. I've no. And who was it? Say who no, it was. Oh, I didn't have a girl okay. say that. I had a girl say this to me. We had sex one time. This was a long time ago in Florida. We had sex. She was so hot, and she was young. And we started kissing, and again, and she goes, "I just want to. I want to. If you ever wanted to drink someone's blood." And, and see I you went, later. I went, see I went, you. I went, no. Hey, we'll catch you later. <laughs> right. Yeah. I went, no, vampire. I haven't. Wow. And she goes, I, I just get so obsessed with somebody. Sometimes I just want to drink their blood. Oh. And she was dead serious. Problems. I'll tell you, there's, there's, there's a girl that I've had sex with a few times. We're, we're good friends now. I almost feel like mentioning her name because she'd actually get a kick out of it on the show here. <clears> but I won't. But I Angela Lansbury. This. Go ahead. Angela, Angela Lansbury. Lansbury. Me and Go Angela Lansbury. <laughs> Go ahead. Me and murder, she wrote. <laughs> and uh, one time she said to me, so we're, just, we're sitting there laying there post-coital, and she said, oh, my God, you almost broke my fucking arm. I go, is that why you were screaming? She goes, well, yeah, that and, you know, your fucking thing. And your nub. And, no, it's not a nub. Yeah. And I said, well, why didn't you stop? And she goes, because it felt so fucking good. So Ooh, that means well, that a girl would big risk, problem. risk having her fucking big arm problem smacked in Dude, half. You guys, I'm not into pain. I'm not into pain. No, one, time, like, one time a girl tried to scratch my chest. I took her arms down. I put it down. I said... You don't ever do that again, like that. It's not very romantic. No, I no, but it was lovemaking, and that's when I stopped it. I had another girl punch me in the face once. No, she no. punched me in the face. Right punched me in the face. Really? It hurt so bad because I, because <laughs> you don't expect it coming. You know what I mean? No. I got up. I said, "Hey, hey, <laughs> if you ever do that again," I said, real calm. I said, "If you ever do that again, you will never see me." That's and good. then I went to I commenced to lovemaking. 
but I it had, was really this is, this is a true story. I had a girl. I was having sex. She and goes, it was Angela she goes, Lansbury. She goes, hit me. Oh, I was having sex with a girl. She goes, hit me. And I went, I went, what? She goes, hit me. So I, I, I awkwardly smacked her in the face. And she goes, ow, not in the face. Oh. And I was like, but we're doing a missionary. Oh, How, my where God. Where do you want me to hit you? Like in the thigh? She wanted, you, she wanted you to punch him. She wanted, he wanted you to punch him in the shoulder and go, way to go, buddy. He, what he? No, dude. Well, no, don't. Thanks for no. listening to the yeah. 10 Minute Podcast. Thanks for subscribing and downloading on iTunes. We are on Stitcher Smart Radio, Twitter at 10 Min Pod, Facebook slash 10 Min Pod. Yeah. And uh, hey, Angela, Angela Lansbury. I'm oh, sorry for yeah. almost breaking your arm, but my yeah. dick's the size of your fucking old ass arm. How do you guys like your steak cooked? Um, wipe its horns off. I mean, knock its horns off, wipe its ass, and bring it out to me. I want it rare. <laughs> way to fuck that up before you did it, by the way. Shit. I don't I don't like steak. I don't, I like don't steak. eat red meat normally, but I like the... Oh, that's the song. Shut up. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know. One time I was over at Callan's house and you were like, hey, how do we cook this meat? Because you didn't know how to fucking do it. And That's I was like, bullshit. no, you didn't. I was like, let's do it Chicago style. You get that motherfucker hot. I like the outside charred and the inside red. Shut up. I'm I, fast. Grew up, I grew up in the, uh, I lived in the forest for a long time and I had to harvest my own meat and I ate it raw. So, I don't like hey, let steak. me ask you guys a personal question. You got, uh, Welcome just, to the 10 minute podcast. Yeah, brought to first, you, first, let's yeah. introduce ourselves, you <laughs> fucking idiot. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by Amazon, sorta. Go to the website, fucking hit the things, yeah. and GameFly. GameFly! Uh, my name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Kelly. I'm Chris D'Elia. Man, that's so fucking annoying when you do that GameFly well, thing. Oh, GameFly! I yeah. hate it. Hey yeah. guys, um, you guys are this is all right. Mm, you guys are straight. Right? Yeah. yeah. Are you? Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I never fucked around with a guy ever. Okay. In fact. Yeah. And one time a guy tried to jump me when I was like nine or ten years old. For real? Yeah, you, for you real. You were the size of a grown man. I, well, yeah, I probably was, was twice or three times you. the size, but he was one of my childhood friends. And he went, "Let's play, let's play, uh, mommy and daddy. I'll, yep. You be the daddy, I'll be the mommy." Yep. No. I swear to God. And he jumped on me wow. and tried to kiss me on oh. his bed, and I ran all the way home. I had a guy, I and it changed our friendship. I was taking. Oh a yeah, really? Wow. No. Obviously, yeah. I was at a lake on vacation with my family, taking a shower, an outdoor shower. And a guy I was hanging out with, he got a hard on and he looked at me and he asked me this question. I swear to God, he goes, you ever dry hump? <laughs> Have you ever dry humped? I remember I told my dad that. My dad was like, well, some guys will want to do that with you. Uh, really? He was, he was my age. And I was like, nah, I'm not really into that. <laughs> I was like, nah, you got, you're got you soaping your dick up. Anyway. I've, um, ne- I've never had anything like that happen to me, for you, real. Well, if you, if you but were I am handsome. gay. If you I'm were, handsome. If I'm you, surprised. If you were gay and you liked me or Will, Chris... And this is for all of us. How would you broach the subject? What how a fucking you, weird thing! Well, how would you come on to us? I mean, uh, if I were, if I was gay if and I gay. was going to come out to, uh, of the yes, closet to you, and guys. you were to try, but you were going to try to, you want with the specific intent of wanting to fuck you or me? Yes. Okay. Well, first, Chris, you have to pick which, which mm, guy you going for? Me. me. No, man. I pick don't me, know me, because it's me, too dude, hard me, to me, me, know me, because me. of how pick I'm straight. What are you? You're not going to pick me. You pick Pick me. Uh, look, would we not make a fucking awesome gay my, couple? Look at my shirt. Yeah, that's fine. Look at my look shirt. Look at my body, though. Okay, look at my well, chest. Look at that. Yeah, both of you guys. Don't you look want to this. sleep on that? Yeah. You want you want you want this? I don't, don't you want this over here? Like this? <laughs> no, dude. This? I don't. I, so look, music, listen to me, guys. Guys, 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 guys. Listen to me. Listen to me. Stop smacking your chests. Listen to me. Yeah, no, no. I don't want to. Touch me for a second. I don't want to. But listen to me. Listen to me. Run your fingers through my Listen to me. I'm not gay, so I have no preference. So how could I? Hypothetically, pick one. And I don't we're know. We're playing a game here. Yeah, we're just playing a game. It's just a game. It's a game, if you, man. If you had, if you had to, if you, okay, say you were in yeah. love with me and you were gay, what? how would you, how would you approach the subject? I mean, I, I, I don't know. If I were actually gay, yeah. and if I were in love with what you, what would you say? You, what would you text me to break? To break? Well, let's start with that. What would he you wouldn't text. text. He would. Well, nah, he would, I would probably. I, you know what I would do for both of you? What? What? If, 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 if maybe I was attracted to both of you. Okay. And, uh, maybe and you I couldn't just figure it to out. Fish it out and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is what I would do for real. I would. <laughs> okay. I would um, email you both. <laughs> In the same thing, so you CC? could see it. So you, could, so you could see it, not so you couldn't see it. You know how sometimes yeah, they deal yeah, with yeah. the bullshit where you're yeah. just like, oh, who else did they email? But you know it's a group CC. email. Carbon you know, copy. No, this, yeah. you carbon copy. You both know it's for both of you. Yeah. yeah. And I would simply write, uh, no punctuation, I'm gay, LOL. Oh, boy. What would you do, Will? I mean, you're big and strong. Okay. No, no, no. And then this way, I'm not done. So then this way, you could, um, I could be like, you could, it's either maybe think it's a joke. And if you weren't yeah. gay, you'd be like, I just playing. Yeah. But if you were gay, 
I bet you'd send something a little bit questionable back, Me like too. flirty. Me too. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. Me too. Right. Ha, ha. And then next time we were together, I would be like, ha ha. So that fucking emo is crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah. Right. And That's how you do it, though. That's how gay yeah. guys do it. That's they how just gay guys CC get their... each other. All right. Oh, okay. I would, I would, um, Chris, I would call you on the phone. And I never, we don't, we don't, people don't really call each other. You yeah, get angry just, with me every time I call you. I don't like it at all. I know. I, call, I just watch I call it. Brian and we'll talk for a little yeah, bit. But if he's I. He's a call, chick. He's a chick. If I call Chris, he'll go, why are you calling me? Yeah. Just text me. Yeah. So I'll call you on the phone and you, and, and I'll say, hey man, do, like, do girls, do girls really appreciate your hair and your eyes? And you'll say, why do you, are you looking at maybe getting plugs for you? Do you want more right. hair or something? Right. And I said, no, do they appreciate your hair? Yeah. The way I do, and right. then I'd hang up. Oh, oh, then you hang up. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. The, oh, okay. And then Brian, for a little you, bit more brazen than mine. Oh. Brian, for you, I'd say I'm gonna come to your house and throat fuck you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because you guys are different. I think okay. that Brian would respond to that. Well, I'm just speaking hypothetically. Okay. All right. Well, I say, I Brian, would... how about I come to your? I'm gonna call you and call you. I say, Brian, I'm driving out to Venice. Gonna fuck your. I'm gonna yeah. fuck your throat. Okay. Oh. Well, this is what I would do, <laughs> Chris. I would shove a loaded gun right up your, right in your fucking mouth. <laughs> And I'd fuck you in the ass. And then, for Will, I'd blow your fucking head off. Hey! And then I'd fuck you. Nah, oh, man. Why does yours involve guns? Because I think you guys are shitheads. <laughs> I would enjoy forcing my I think my you just want to kill us. <laughs> well, yes, that's true. Why? Oh, that's way. Was the question, how would I kill you? Or no, was, it was how would you come off? You brought it up. Oh. Yeah, what do you mean? How, what was the question? You Sorry. asked it. Sorry, I got yeah. carried away. I was just you thinking said, about killing both of you. <laughs> um, no, I think I think that'd be that'd be a really hard thing to do to like go like to remember there was that movie there was this Adam Sandler movie what was it, it was a Big Daddy I think where the the two friends uh, those two guys that are in Grandma's house or whatever they played best friends because they're all guys who grew up together they're best friends who became a gay couple I thought yeah. that was a really f- funny bit because it was like. Well, yeah, no one's ever done that. Yeah. What are they? They bought the what? I would go. In the movie, they played best friends who became realized they're gay and then became a gay couple, and it was just I fodder for Adam movie, Sandler to make a bunch of jokes. I would right. do. I would do. Uh, I think I would say, "Hey, um, let's come over. Let's play tag and fuck around." <laughs> that's a good way. Yeah, and then that's and like then my I would guy, drug, that's then my, I would like my, drug you, that, and then oh. I would and then I'd fuck you. Okay. Yours is always like an episode of Dexter. Yeah. That's what yours is, okay? <laughs> our, our, mine is just like a feeling it out kind of thing. Yeah. Mine is I give Chris a compliment. Right. I With tell you, you what kind of you're dominating gonna, thing. Right, mm-hmm. yeah. Yours is more just like I'll put a gun in your mouth. I would hold a dog on you. I'd yeah. hold a guard dog on you yeah. and make you strip. Yeah. And then, I'd, um, and then I'd, oh. I'd make you my boyfriend. Here's, here's Still kind of Dexter. Here's what I'd do. I'd, I'd take a picture of myself, of my own asshole. I'd pry my asshole open. Oh, God. And then I would just text it to either of you and just say, what do you think of this? I would give you, I'd send you to a hemorrhoid doctor. <laughs> That's what I would do. If I just pried my, my man ass apart, my my fucking asshole. All right, dude. If easy. I pried my whole whoa, whoa, whoa. Jeez, come on. Open. This, this podcast. Is, is it distended? Uh, well, it would be if I just got my fingers. I mean, I'm strong no. enough to right, pull. Right, my no. asshole's never no, no, had no. anything in it. No, bro. But uh, it, please don't. A, I've I've dropped some fucking big shit logs. No. So oh, it's probably God, come on. And I just grab bro, at it. Just please, p- bro. Pinch Stop and grab that with your hands, and man. And fucking just goatsy ah. goatsy my shit apart. What does goatsy mean? What does you it even mean? You don't even know what goatsy means? Of course no, bro, not. I oh my don't. God, goatsy. It's like a meme. It's an internet meme. It's a guy. It's a guy prying his asshole apart. So I would fucking goatsy my shit open. Why and, do you know that? Because I just know too much about computers and stuff, oh, and the fuck. internet. Internet. If you, it's not. It. That's not about computers. If you went to the Mac <laughs> Genius Bar and said, "Hey guys, what's a goat seat?" Oh, they'd, they'd all like, know. Well, they'd they all know. would. But yeah, because God, I'm, did you see the Dictator, the movie, The Dictator? I did. No. That movie made me laugh it's so, so fucking, fucking funny. hard. Why? When he says, first of all, the two of them together are so funny in that movie. Yeah. When he says, "I have a good life now. I'm a Mac Genius," and he yeah. says, "Well, what do you do?" And he says. I, I, I don't. I clean semen out of keyboards. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I laughed so hard. That, well, who, how not was to that derail. Movie? That movie was hilarious. It was funny, dude. It was I, fucking. Did it funny. not do well? I don't know. I don't know how it did. But I, I know that I was, I was talking to a buddy of mine about it, and he was like, eh, I just wasn't able to follow the story. I just kind of yeah. felt it was. I was like, Yo, shut up. Yo, when you've got fucking that many fucked up g- jokes about yeah. fucking goats and stuff, you throw the other shit out the window yeah. and you enjoy ninety minutes of I mean, absolute it, yeah. lunacy. I mean, it, 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 it wasn't a movie that was like you go for the story. Yeah. It was fucking hilarious. Yeah. Though. What What is your What is your favorite movie of the year? Mine. Yeah. When was Black Swan? 
was a couple years ago. That was a couple years ago. That was one of the best movies I've seen in probably probably in the 2000s. Yep. How about you? That movie blew me away. Guys, I want... Really? Yeah, blew me away. Brian, let me fuck your throat. Well, come on! Man, that, what are you talking about? I asked you I'll about the movies, dude. I don't... I don't, I don't actually want to... <laughs> come on. Holes a hole. Oh, man. Oh. Hey, bro. Oh. Holes a hole. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Nah, man. <laughs> what? Nah, Thanks for... <laughs> Thanks for listening to the 10-Minute Podcast. Thanks for subscribing and downloading on iTunes. Please rate and review us there. Uh, we're on Stitcher Smart Radio, Twitter, 10 Pod, Facebook slash 10 Pod. I also like Posse with Mario Van Peebles. <laughs> that was last and year, Stephen right? Stephen Baldwin. Yeah, yeah, that was last year. Posse yeah. with Mario Van single Peebles. Great, single greatest movie of all time. You guys are my best friends. Hmm? You what? Got, you guys are my best friends. How, many, right. how many M's were on that? Two, one for you and one for you. So MM apostrophe best friends? My best friend. <laughs> Some podcasts are slow and you don't know how long they last. That's why you listen to 10 Minute Podcast. Welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast brought to you by some Amazon bullshit on 10minutepodcast.com oh. and Gamefly. Yeah, My name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Callum. I'm Chris D'Elia. Yeah. That was weird. What is that? Is that your it's new thing? It's a cute noise I make. That's pretty cute, man. I just go... When you get a, when you get your sack tugged. No. <laughs> well, by... Yeah, a really hot Victoria's Secret Angel. Or or my big or my big mitt. Or hey, I was big mitt. No. I was showing you guys. No. No. I was showing you guys a text. You said I said the wrong thing to a girl. Always do. You yeah. always do. No, you always go. I down. farted. No. Yeah. This is what text, I'm gonna make what, a sandwich. If Will likes a girl, he texts poo poo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I got. I got. Sh- no, I, no. I'm gonna look, cry. Look, I'm not a fucking. I'm not. Look, I'm not the kind of guy to just come jumping out, bounding out, saying this and that. I'm a fucking. Yeah. I'm a smooth operator. Yeah, yeah. I'm a smooth, smooth operator. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm, smooth operator. <laughs> and there's only. <laughs> there's well, there's three M's on that. One for you, one for you, and one for Sade. Mm. Who wrote mm, <laughs> smooth operator? All right. So, but I but I text. You know, I texted her just like nice things. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, it's so good to hear from you. They want nice guy. They want they they want to find out you're nice later, dude. Yeah. They no, want that's s- not true. If yes, you like it a girl, is, if you dude. like a girl, you go like this. I want to move you in my house. <laughs> no, no, no. And, All one word. And, and I want to spend money on you. <laughs> All on, one word. You know what you do? You, on you. You know you. you then know I what? want. Then I want to funk you. <laughs> you know what you really do? You know what you really do if you like a girl? Right. And and if she texts you, how are you, or something like that? Right. This is for real. What you do? What? For real. Yeah. You write back. Great, no, no periods, no punctuation. Okay. Great, babe. How arp you? <laughs> okay. Because you this don't. This is fascinating. Because I think I know what you're saying here. Yeah. Okay. Please explain the psychology behind this, because I think my friend Chris might be a genius. Because you don't, you don't <laughs> care enough. <laughs> This is the most genius shit I've ever heard you say. How arp you? You don't care enough to fucking check the text. Oh my god, that's fucking brilliant, Brian. Do you realize how fucking brilliant that is? That is pretty good. If you write <laughs> good. great, great, how arp you but with great, no commas, periods, or anything? But you said great, babe. How arp you? Yeah, great, babe. How arp you? <laughs> you got balls. You got balls because you called her babe. Yeah. And how arp you? You didn't check it. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe you did check it and you're like, yeah, who gives a shit? How about, Send. How about if you just text? You will get about, laid 100% of the time. What if, you're what, if you're right. more, what if you're more aggressive if you go, so, so, great. Hey, how are you if you write, if you write, en sacité? <laughs> <laughs> That's overboard, man. Is that too aggressive? Oh, I think so. Okay, okay. En sacité. So- I'll suck your fun bags. How about that? Your no. FN battery bags. No, no. B A A A G S. You know what? One time for real, this happened. There was this girl that I met, and she was <clears> sweet <throat> and stuff. And I got her number, and I was like working on getting her number. She's a very sweet, very sweet girl. And I got her number, and the first thing I fucking texted her was meant for someone else. There you, know you go. When that but it well. I guess it worked out, but I sent the filthiest thing to yeah. her. I shouldn't, you know, thank goodness yeah. my parents don't listen to the podcast, my sweet yeah. little Italian yeah. parents. I sure hope my brother and sister don't. Um, I texted the 
the dirtiest thing that was meant for this other girl with whom there was a definitely a very sexual thing going on. Um, and know that I love my listeners when I am sharing this kind of shit because this isn't the kind of stuff I would share, talk to strangers with over fucking lunch. And here I am. Hey, it. sir, backtrack Evmo. <laughs> Why don't you just go? Hey, sir, <laughs> sir, backtrack Evmo. I mean, come on. You know, I shouldn't be saying this stuff. But I sent something really filthy and I sent it to the wrong person. And she said, well, that's rather forward. And I said, no, that's just something that me and my buddy Pete do Pussy. to oh, each other. God, Pussy. You, you know should have owned it. And... You don't know how fucking dirty it was. Oh, you know what I said? So we're talking about this was meant for someone who, with whom I'm intimate. I was doing really oh, we you already sexual. Fucked her? Do you know what I said? I already fucked the other girl. Oh. You, you, know, yeah. what I, you know what I texted the girl? Really dirty. You know what I texted a girl who I didn't want to like me? That's pretty what? funny. This is what I texted a girl I didn't want to like You didn't me. want her to like you? No, I didn't like her. So I, yeah. I, got, I got a whole slew of those. So she goes, hey, how are you? And I wrote, got sores that just won't heal. <laughs> oh, my God. God. No way. I did. I go, got sores that just won't heal. She goes, gross. I go, you're telling me. <laughs> and that's all I said. Did she ever write back? Nope. Oh, really? Wow. You know what? Um, well, I... Uh, fuck, I just forgot what I was going to say. Go ahead, Will. Go. Well, I was going to say that one thing oh, yeah, that I've it. sent to chicks that I don't want to talk to anymore is... Um, it's the it's the I don't even know what the term is. It's not a it's not the it's not a bracket, but it's the bracket that looks like a, a it's it's a it's an HTML command. Yeah. It's the bracket that looks like a triangle, and then I put, put safe underscore unsubscribe, and then nice. the other triangle. Nice. And then they don't know what the hell I'm talking. I about. write I write I treat the girls that I want to leave me alone the same as the girls that I don't want to leave me alone. This is why Chris is a smart guy. Yeah, because it's all, as long as you fucking do you, and I I swear to God, multiple times I've texted girls, my dick is a rocket ship. (laughs) Multiple times. Multiple times. Because then they immediately, all their power is gone. And you, and 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 they don't know what to say. You know what? You know what I do. And you're the king, dude. You know what I do when I grow. I, another one thing. One I do when I don't want a girl to like me is I go, "Hey, how are you?" I just write back, "I fuck guys." <laughs> there you go. Well, With no no spaces. I fuck guys. I fuck guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like it's one word. Yeah. I, I mean, good. it's it's all the same, dude. It, my dick is a rocket ship. <laughs> how? Hey, babe. How are you? Yeah. Hey, hey, my babe. How are you? My dick is a rocket ship. I, 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 yeah. I really, for real. I, if so there's, funny. Uh, I'm going to use the hey babe how are you I actually think that's I'm not even joking it when will I work. say that it will work it, w- it works better than hey how have you been honey it works way better uh, than that you don't share anyway. I know you wouldn't I'm do that I'm not ordering just... food in a 50s diner so I don't, <laughs> I don't call anybody honey or sugar or sweetness um, hmm, yeah but that's what I mean I, I, you know you write uh, I, I actually told that to Bobby once Bobby Lee mm-hmm. I told hey hey babe how are you I told that to him yeah. he fell out of his chair Yeah. he, he reacted really, the same way you it, are it really does make a lot of sense yeah yeah, you know, there's some. There's sometimes you ever get like a girl who's like texting you, and and she's getting a little hot and bothered. See, this texting thing is fucking crazy. It's sometimes I around. just text chicks piles of money. <laughs> I have pictures of piles of money. I go to the AT. I go to the bank, get the money. I put it on my fucking table, take a picture of the money, and then I send it to them. And then they write back, and I don't write back. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead serious. Why are you crazy? I don't know. Fuck it. Who That's cares? Crazy. I do stand up. You can't like, what are you going to do? Embarrass me? Who gives a fuck? It's true. Why are you crazy is the name of Sean's 15th I just send him my resume. <laughs> oh, that's fucking weird. They freak out. They're yeah. like, "You've been in all that do, stuff." Do you ever get? You ever get a girl who's like getting hot and bothered, and she's getting excited, and she starts texting all this stuff, and you're just kind of going through the motions, yeah. And you find yourself texting back, but like you're literally laying there just watching Breaking Bad, and like texting yeah. back, like, "Yeah, I want to eat your thing." And yeah, yeah, that's kind of funny. You ever get an happens. itch on the inside of your dick? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? No, no. I'm, what? What? What did you ask, Brian? We we're talking about sexting and stuff. Yeah. Well, what did you just say? What did you say? Don't don't think. Talk. The only time he doesn't want to talk. No, I mean. What did you I say about you, you said? What did you say about? Vin, did you say something? <laughs> no. Gonorrhea. What did no. you say? I what do you got on your phone? Huh? He's looking up. He's looking at WebMD on his phone. <laughs> no. well, oh, oh, one no. time, one time, a girl. One just time. Symptoms. Hey, check this out. One time, a girl wrote to me. Like now that now that like uh, like I'm working now like this yeah, was years ago so a lot of some girls wouldn't pay attention to me and now that there's Facebook sometimes girls will still write me this girl wrote me once hey I'm having this fundraiser it'd be really cool I haven't seen you in so long she obviously wanted me to come because she wanted the fucking because I'm in shit now and she wanted her thing to be like oh yeah he went and so she so she wrote that and I wrote back I'm sorry I really don't think I can come because I farted <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I think I You're sent you that. Fucking twelve year old. Yeah. I do remember that. Yeah, so good. I can vouch. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. It's I can vouch uh, for Chris for our listeners. He did yeah. send me a screenshot of I this. I saw very... that too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, guys, this is awesome. This is all right. Well, that's... <laughs> <laughs> well, what timing you have? Yeah. I think it's good. I, I one time I, I was annoyed at a girl and she kept sending me stupid stuff. Like you don't. You only text me when you think it's when you're con- it's convenient yeah. for you. And I just wrote back. <laughs> That's the best. Oh my dude. god. Oh, I gotta remember that one. That's awesome. Sometimes uh, I just write, sometimes I just write, he, 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 <laughs> H-E, H-E, H-E. I like writing just oh. back, congratulations. That's a good one. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the well, 10-Minute Podcast. Well, was funny. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and downloading on iTunes. We're on Stitcher like Smart Radio. Like you're out on a horse or something. Like, <laughs> We're Twitter at 10 Pod, Facebook slash 10 Pod. You're Holy gun shit. Fight. Can't talk, can't talk, making money. You guys got those dicks that are a different color than your body? You're talking about the ones that go in your butt, right? No, no, no. <laughs> No, <laughs> no. I'm talking about is your dick like? Do you have a purple dick? Oh, like you like black guys or Latino? No, or? like sometimes only like a white I, guy only with when a black I tie dick. It off. <laughs> <laughs> Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you listen to ten minute podcasts. You know what? You're right though. There are those guys, yeah. and not that you're looking at dicks all day, right. but like there are those guys that have darker dicks on the rest of their bodies. Yeah. What is that shit? I don't understand why we used to have a God friend made us that way. I used to have a friend. Uh, my, by the way, mine's the same color. Mine's yours is obviously purple. My, mine is mine is purple brown and blue. No, but my, mine is mine is lobster red. No, but my, <laughs> I don't know what's but going so, on. So so we yeah, had a buddy. I, gotta, I had psoriasis in my dick. We 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 had a buddy who who in in high school that had a a really dark dick, and we would call him dark dick. <laughs> Good you name. Call, you, called was a, him, you called him boyfriend. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Brian, that's fine. Ah, fucking wonder one. Well, ah. Yeah. Welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast, brought to you by Amazon. Go to our website, hit the Amazon thing to buy shit, and uh, Gamefly.com. So boring. Chris, say, boring as fuck. Brian, say, say Gamefly. Gamefly! No, don't, no, don't, don't do, do it for it a too long, long like you always do, because that joke's funny off. once that's or twice. No, but you do it 17 times. I'm like, Gamefly! Shut up. Shut the fuck up. All right. But go to the- Ow! Hey man, go fucking. Chris you fucking hit my them. person. Shut the fuck Don't up. Don't hit my person, bro. Don't do that. That's Be really quiet. uncool. Um, I, have a, I pulled my neck. Uh, all right. So my name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Callan. Don't I'm, fucking hit me, I'm bro. I'm Chris Delia. Lightning hands, dude. Don't call me that. I mean, Shout don't out. Say he that. called himself that. I know. I'm, but, I'm what I am is I am uh, stick, sticky fingers. I, do, I you can't get them off. Yeah, because your fingers are always near your butt. Oh, I won that one again. <sighs> what are you doing? Brian's checking his fucking stupid email like it matters. But when he checks his stocks and then he says he calls it winning. I won that. Yeah. No. You I, didn't win it. No, I was saying that it's I not won. eBay. I won when I said your fingers have been in your butt. That's why they're sticky. Oh, okay. Oh, cool, man. Oh, cool. Do you ever um, have you ever seen what is the what is the one scene in a movie that you can remember that turned you on the most? You're getting at this because you want to talk about yours is Brokeback Mountain, right? No. <laughs> when he says, I no. can't quit you. No. Yours is, a, yours is a porn version of Welcome Back, Cotter. Come on, bro. Where where, uh, where they're fucking, they're all sucking Vinnie Barbarino's dick yeah. at the same time. Nope. And he's like, Poor ha, Shaq ha, is ha, sucking. Ha. You'll never guess mine. Yeah. Oh, this is so weird. You sucking my dick at the same time, even though we all go to school together. <laughs> That's the that's the porn version of Welcome Back, Carter. Yeah, oh my that. god, really well written. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so weird. My friends are sucking my dick now. Oh my god, really good, really good writing. Yeah. Hey, why why are you sucking my dick and I'm wearing this jacket? Yeah. <laughs> why didn't I bother to take off my jacket if I was gonna get comfortable for blowjob from a guy? <laughs> right. <laughs> that's a good movie. Um, no, the movie that turned me on, I think the most. I'm thinking about it is probably Porky's when Kim Cattrall. Pulls off her at pants, and you see just her underwear. And she wants, she's getting so horny and wants to have sex with the guy in the gym because she smells all the sweat. I, I, I remember being so turned on that it ached. I really? was 14 or something, mm. and I was, you, I was dying. Wow. I think that's the, well, I don't know. Yeah. I, don't I, I mean, that's hard. We got, you really got to think back with that, oh, especially you. Wanna, you you want to hear a true story? A long time I ago. I swear to God, this is a true ago. story. I was, I swear to God, I can't believe I'm going to tell you the story. I was watching The Accused, 
Remember when Jodie Foster got raped? This is really terrible. Yeah. Okay. And it's a really harsh scene where the guy's like, Yeah, oh, talking to the microphone. You know what my buddy me. did? My buddy turns to me and he goes, Dude, I got a fuck. <laughs> Oh no. my god! I swear to God, oh, terrible. I remember being like, "Dude, that's that's weird. really bad." The, 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 you know, I mean, but then they, actually they say that um, a lot of times young boys but you and used girls to be friends with Kobe Bryant, though. That's what. <laughs> am I right? Or? I never forgot. That. I just remembered that. I'm, I'm not laughing at rape anybody. I'm, I just, I, I, I'm all right. at all. Well, I just thought it was fucking. Well, as I think back, how crazy we are as human beings. Yeah, Chris, he's not what, a rapist either. He's a great Chris, guy. Chris, what's yours? Um, mine was. Remember, do you do you guys even know about these movies that are like called Emmanuel? Yeah, I remember. There's those. like 37 no, of them. I don't, I don't yeah, remember. yeah. And they and then the Super one girl erotic. got one girl got too old, and then the other girl, they got another young girl or some shit. It's just called Emmanuel. There's, there's literally like maybe 50 of them. Yeah, I love that name. Yeah, Emmanuel. I love that name. And it was just this it's a good French, name for a guy, right? It was French, right? Yeah, yeah, it was French. Yeah. They showed him in Canada. We see, we see, we see. They shot in Canada? They, no, they, so you probably, did a, they them, you probably so. did a few of them. I was in episodes 7, 13, and uh, 19, and no, 20. No, but there were movies, but that was, the first, that was the first movie that I was like, whoa, oh, a female's body, you know? Yeah. And, I, and I remember I, um, I liked it so much and then I, I, that I felt bad afterwards, I cried. It, it's actually when you see a girl, a naked ago. girl, on film when Just you're younger, it, mm-hmm. and they're so beautiful, it's hard to even put into context. Like for yeah. a guy, it's all encompassing. Like you're like, holy! You know what fun movie turned the sh- turn me on like nobody's business? Sin City. Really? With those fucking. Oh, you like, like Josh G- Hartnett? G- though. That's why you like Josh Hartnett. Gia yeah. Car- uh, Carolla. Car- G- Gia Carano. Oh no! She's when gorgeous you do. in that. No, no, no also not, not Gina Carano. I know Sorry. you. No. G- Gina, oh. Gina Gershon. I know you. No, no, not Gina. I know you. Carano and Josh Hartnett. Forget it. Benicio Del Toro, forget it. The two of them together, you're going to fucking just no, pop off no. like a sprinkler. Yeah, yeah you are. Dude, you're just going to keep those, squirting. Yeah. I'm not into those it's guys. Like I'm a, not into guys. I'm into girls. So don't don't yeah. say that. M- mine mine was 1987's Something Wild starring Jeff Daniels, Ray Liotta, and Remember Melanie it Griffith. very well. And when I remember there was like free pay-per-view or free free movie channels when I was a kid because, you know, we didn't, we were, you know, my parents too cheap to have the, there's no way you get the movie channels in my house. Yeah. The Sasso house? No way. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so we had the movie channel so I videotaped a few movies that was one of them so I replayed that scene over and over again probably beat off to it a few times when she gets on top of when she gets on top of Jeff Daniels and it was 12 12 years old when that movie came out and so I probably I lost my virginity just before that at 11? And yeah, no, I didn't. And um, she, she, I probably lost my virginity 20 years after that. Um, <laughs> and, no, uh, so she's, yeah, she's riding him. And I just remember really identifying with that character that Jeff Daniels plays in the movie because he's such a square. Also, you, yeah, and also you like to be dominated by a woman because no, you have a lot of feminine no, energy. Even no, though you're, no, even no. Even though you're, no, you're I, about the size of a horse, no, you still want to be dominated no, by a woman. I've never no, fantasized about a girl being on top of no, me. This, I, no, I like to get on top no, of a girl because no, I'm a guy. No, and also was, another movie that he loved is Discord. Disclosure that hey, he, he couldn't hey, stop jerking off to that one. No, right. st- I didn't jerk off the disclosure. Yeah, yeah. I was rooting for Jeff Daniels to grab her by the fucking throat, hey, spin hey, her around, whoa. and show her what the fuck's up with her fucking floppy tits flapping around. She didn't have floppy Kids, tits, dude. She Make did. They were a little. They were flopping around a little bit. What but anyway, that turned me on because he didn't know he was gonna get fucked. You know, what, though, I gotta look this up. You know, what was one of the hottest th- scenes. What was that Kevin Costner movie with the kid? I know that's about that doesn't narrow it down at all because he's always in a movie with a kid. But what's the thing where the one where he, oh fuck, I can't even. He like comes to town. Never mind. This is every Kevin Costner movie. Let me look it up, and then uh, you, you guys you know, keep talking. Oh, I know and while you do that, about, while you do that, world. No, is it that? Yeah, that's what it is. Perfect. There's world. a really hot sex scene in that where he fucks the bartender. Oh yeah. The girl. While while you while you do that, I wanna. I'm gonna look I wanna up, ask though. someone else what their favorite movie was. And now it's time for keeping it real with Shana. Here we, here we go. My name is Shana. I'm keeping it real on the ten minute podcast with Brian Chris Will. Shit. Ha <laughs> Y'all nasty. Y'all nasty. Y'all talk about all fucking. Uh, y'all like to fuck and what movies I like to. Why's the motherfucker fucking? Okay. And the me fucking. I'm fucking myself all with my head. All right. Hey, so, Shauna. So, hey. what's what's your favorite sex scene from a movie? Yeah. Hands down, it's in Do the Right Thing, 1988. Do the Right Thing with Spike Lee, where he take ice cubes and roll them on Rosie Perez's tits. I was like, oh shit! Yeah. I got my whole fist up my ass watching that shit. Oh what? God! This concludes keeping it real with Shana. Hey, my name is Shana, and I kept this shit real. So what, love, motherfucker? Cause now you know the deal. Trip your ear. Well, the, she kept it real. That is a good scene. Um, yeah, I don't. I, I mean, guess. I guess I, that's who. It was I didn't ever see that movie. So. He knows his audience. So. Yeah, but uh, we don't need to hear how she put her fist. in her I don't need to hear that Shana put her fist in her. Have ass. you ever had a woman give you ass play? By the way, be honest. Oh, that's weird. Total silence. 
Uh, I mean, oh, you guys wait. I see. Well, just, I mean, what do you want? Why would you guys? You guys froze like deer in the headlights. You clearly have had no, at no, least no, no, girls' no, fingers. No, up this is a podcast. No, 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 no. This is a podcast for everybody. You're saying, saying, saying. What do you say? What do you want to talk about? You guys got weird, man. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Don't, don't, Brian. Okay, well, I mean, Brian. You know, maybe, maybe we just talk about. Like, what's your favorite first kiss or yeah. whatever? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Right? Did you guys oh, ever move? Show's over. Show's you guys over. Ever Show's over. At? Hey, I thanks for listening to the 10 Minute Podcast. Great. Whoa. Stitcher. It's on Stitcher. It's on Stitcher. Stitcher Smart Radio. Okay. Thanks for listening and downloading and subscribing. No. We are on Stitcher. We are on oh Brian. Hey, God. Brian, why don't you sing that funny song we're, that we like? Twitter, that Twitter, we Twitter, sing a funny song at the end. No, man. I want to know if you guys ever had any ass play for girls. No, Facebook slash 10 Minute Pod. So thanks for listening and good night. Follow Follow Brian Callen. Follow Brian Callen. What the fuck is going on? You Follow at Fre- Brian Callen yeah. on Instagram. Because he's so funny, right, Brian? You Come freaked on. out. You both Joe, freaked out. Joe. Do you got some uh, dates coming up you want to plug? You're or not whatever? even. You're, to- you're totally. You're totally. We're out of time. Distraction. We're out of time. I think. We're out of time. I think. Actually, oh my god. Yep. And thank and you very much, guys. Wow, that was really weird. I asked one simple question. No, it's question. over now. This isn't recording now. <laughs> Have you guys ever had any ass play from girls? Now that we're not recording. Guys? Did you guys like that coconut water I gave you? Yeah, yeah. Man. I made, I got yes. real coconuts. Mother's milk, dude. I yep. call it mother's milk. I slammed at it with a fucking knife Don't because I'm good. With, I'm good with knives. Yeah, but I call it mother's milk. Mm-hmm. We should take Don't. a bath in it as a group. Some podcasts are slow. We should make a 10 minute podcast coconut water no mm. welcome to the 10 minute podcast uh it was brought to you by amazon you go to our yeah. fucking website yeah. and you click that and Have then we made you can... any money off that yeah i think we made about 17 dollars um yeah. and you how buy about, things on gamefly? amazon gamefly yeah There's okay so offer. stop saying it for sure well so yeah. um so uh, my, name is, my name is my name i'll give you 76 dollars shut the fuck up how's that <laughs> Get that time back, huh? <laughs> My name is Will Sasso. <laughs> I'm Brian the Kid Callan, as you guys know that by now. It's amazing. I want to thank And everybody. I'm, let, listen, him. man. And I'm Chris D'Elia. Okay? okay. Now you can go with your I fucking bullshit. I just want to thank everybody for coming up to me after my shows and, and, and wanting to take pictures and just tell me how great I am on this show, on the, yeah. on the podcast, yeah. and, uh, no. and, and on my podcast, Man Thoughts. Yeah, Man Thoughts. But, you know, really guys, I really appreciate that. And, I, and I, I think I chalk it up to the fact that I'm just more experienced and I've been nope. doing this longer nope. and I'm more honest nope. yeah, with my expression not. and a lot more educated. I'm about 10 years younger than you and I've been working for about five years longer than Can't you. Have. That is true. And I'm 15 years younger yeah. than you, you do, and uh, I'm amazing in my... You do you do shit you do shit comes and and I I do um I do uh I do film so uh, oh yeah, yeah well we'll, yeah, we'll I do a movie I do, I do a lot of movies this year I'm actually. shooting a movie right now I'm just traveling in between yeah. shooting movie what and are you what are you shooting well it's a movie it's none of your fucking business it's a romantic oh, yeah. dramedy it's very none of your, whimsical none of your business by the way sounds like a movie Michael Keaton would have done in in the eighties <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is your movie called Who Gives a Fuck? It's a shot in Canada. I'll tell right? you about. I'll tell you who doesn't give a fuck. You because you're not even talking into your fucking mic. That is interesting. You do what you do is funny because you put your head to the hey side guys, and hey you guys. talk and you put not your hand into the in front of your fucking mic. Mm. Guys, guys, don't mm. can't hear I, you. Mm. Don't fucking mm me. I hate mm. when people don't. Brian, what's your ultimate career goal? I'm glad you asked. Um, I want to <laughs> be. Um, I I want to I want to be starring in um, major major uh, uh, dramas. Yeah. I don't want to do comedy or action. I think that's boring. I want to I want to do. I can cry like that. I can cry like this. No, um, I want to do stuff where like I'm holding a woman. She's died. I'm crying. I'm wearing like robes. Um, I'm coming out of a cave or something. I want to do dramatic, uh, grandiose, picturesque films mm, um, that, that are financed by uh, in Europe and stuff. So I want to do European, by Iranian I want to do European film. I want to do European films. Mm-hmm. I speak French and All I speak right. a lot of different languages. Mm. Um, uh, and I want to be the greatest comic. I, in some ways, I am already, but I, I want to be the <laughs> Hey, man. Sorry, I had a coconut that? water. Yeah, Excuse me. disgusting. Remember when we told you not to drink it? Yeah. Excuse me. Hold on. Let me open this. Excuse me. Don't. Dude. Hold on. Dude. Please, oh, please don't. Okay, don't. Drink more. No, don't. This is, that was coconut water. This no. is green tea. Doesn't don't, matter. Don't. Oh, it's so okay. gross. Oh, so my career goal What's yours? is uh, to uh, do whatever I can in my power to stop Brian from making those movies. <laughs> 
because they're going to be terrible. Also, it will be a very easy job because there's no way he's going to be able to do that. Well, dude, your, your career goal should actually be to no. hose down my audience <laughs> no. when I set them ablaze with my stand-up. You should be sitting there with, with giving out lemonade because they're, they're, they can't, they're <laughs> laughing so hard their throats are burning. You, 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 you <laughs> hand out lemonade and I'll chuck, I'll chuck you a couple dollars at the end of my show. You know, How's that sound, long hair boy? I want to I wanna go, I want to actually show you something. Do you see what Will did and I during while you were just saying all that stuff? Did you see what we did? Yeah. What's that? We we were quiet yeah. because we wanted to listen to you. Instead of what? Instead of Con- Conversation Strangler Stevens. Yes. Dude, don't call Instead me. of don't being call me conversation, conversation Strangler Please Stevens. Please don't call me that. What you do is when <laughs> one of us gets a point and starts to describe Talk. it, yeah. Yeah. what you do is you go, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Here, wait. We'll, we'll explain, Chris. You just like talk about any. You know, I'm gonna I'm okay. gonna ask you a question that I'm gonna be conversation strangler Stevens. Okay. So, Chris, what did you do today? Uh, I got up oh, early. Was, Actually, I went, what I, went I did to, was I stayed over. Went, okay, I stayed over at I my friend's to, house. Yeah, I went to my. This morning I was. And then when I went home, no, I, I got I a Starbucks and peanut butter. And, okay, I but I went to Starbucks and I came back. Conversation strangler. He's still doing it. Even he exists, even though he already exists, which is what Will was doing. That's two conversation strangler Stevens in one fucking room. No, I don't like being. I don't like being. Make fun of it. I'm not into that shit. It makes me really super angry. <laughs> hey guys, have you heard of this TV show? Is that the show you want to be on? Uh, no, it's uh, it's this. The premise is 1985 Los Angeles Police Department experiments with this time travel machine. They send four of their guys into the future. Is this on TV? Or? It's about to be on TV. They send four of their guys into the future, and the future well, is now. It? Well, it's just action packed comedy tour de force. Okay. Okay. Are you on it? Or Are something? you reading? Uh, no, it's a welcome renaissance. Are you looking at your 80s. phone? No. What? No. Well, say it without looking at your phone. Okay. What is it? Yeah. It's, a, it's a welcome. It's a welcome renaissance of the '80s cop show genre. Um, I didn't understand a word you just said. You're right, looking it's, at it's your like, phone. It's like if Arrested Development had a baby and the baby was an '80s cop. I mean, it's a minority pack comedy explosion. I got to be honest. Why with are you? Guys. Oh, it's pretty amazing. Why are you using why all you, like like using a critic? Well, just go to go to. Like the, com no, no, no! And, don't go. And, no, no, start, don't. Well, don't go. You can follow them at no. uh, Twitter. At what are you doing? What? What are you doing? What? No, I'm just talking about this amazing show. But it's why? Great, why? Great What's your best did you see it? Did you see it? Uh, I did see it, and it's really, really good. It's, Where did you see it? What channel? It's it's actually being it's being picked up. Okay, now, so who do you know that shot. gave you gave you the show to watch? Where did you see it? Did you see a, a friend, screener? Uh, yeah, I have a friend oh, who's in the business. Who, you have a friend who's who, in the yeah. business. What's their vested interest in this show? Why are you talking about this during our time? Um, I'm just friends with the. I gotta say, the characters, man. There's this black no, girl in no, a wheelchair don't. called. There's this man okay. who went undercover Great, that's as an really Asian original. woman back in the 87 Already to bust a drug ring in Chinatown. Yeah. You're reading. Uh, you're reading off your phone. No, I'm not. What are you Give doing? me your phone no, and then I'm keep talking. No, I'm not going to give you out. Don't. Ow. I'm not. Ow. Here. Give it's a phone. new series. It's a pressure from point ow. in your wrist. All right. It's a new series. He's Chris. He's reading. Yeah, I know, New series man. from <laughs> executive producer of Fast yeah. cars, fast women. All right. The word fast is used. Okay. So, uh, so it was texted to me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't okay, but why was it texted to you? What, what the fuck? Like, why did he text you all that information about it? I'm gonna give you, are, I was going to give you some guys are some you of the using, money. Are you using... What? No, what? No, again, let me explain. I, I'll explain. What happened was I worked out a deal, and he. I'm, I've a been deal. sponsored to... I was sponsored by... And what? I was going to tell you guys about it, and I was going to give you the... I was going to share the revenue. How the much process. fucking money? Paid you to fucking plug it on our podcast? Yeah, 300 bucks. But 300, 300 bucks? Who gives a fuck about 300 bucks? That's not bucks. even that much money. I just told him I'd pay him $76 to shut the fuck up about the ads. I know, I'll give you, but I will split it. I'll give you guys each 50 bucks and we'll go from there. Well, that's not, well, that's splitting, not it. splitting it, first no, of all. No, but I did the read, so obviously I'm going to get You're not uh, getting 200, we get 50. It's and my 50. contact. Why do you need three hundred dollars to fucking yeah, what do you read even shit need? on the you podcast? You stand up. You do fine. You make like three grand a weekend. <laughs> Is there in something Toronto? going on? I need money. I, I do. I'm not. Oh Jesus! No, I know. Christ. Come I, on. No, no, no. Oh fuck. Okay, man. this is what happened. I got. I bought an. Ah, fuck. I got into this. I bought an Audi and I bought a couple of horses. It, oh, what why do you even horses say, why even say the Audi? I, I don't if you know. Got I got talked into it. I'm such an asshole. This guy How much were the horses? I bought race horses, bro. I, How much? Dude, those are fucking expensive. I know. Be like a quarter I know. Million dollars. I know that. I, I didn't pay that yeah, much. Why did don't you be an even asshole. Say I Audi. spent 200 grand on these horses. Oh Jesus! How many? How many? The two and I put a down payment on another one. I'm going to explain. Oh, my Jesus God. I know, I, I know, but there is money in race horses. It's like a half but a it's million. just the vet bills and the fucking stable and all the shit that happens. And I don't are have these, any are these, money. Are these, are these Kentucky horses or Arabian horses? They're fucking Arabian. Those horses. are oh, really no. expensive. I know. I know Plus, you, more to keep up. I know. And I got involved in this with these 
Latin guys and they're from Colombia. I don't know where they're from, but they're not nice. No, of course no, not. Of course yeah. Colombian yeah. guys Who, dealing in horses dealing, sounds yeah, terrible. No, I owe the money, nice. man. Did they? Did you know what's going to happen? Your what? horse is going to get into some sort of fucked up, weird argument with one of these Colombian guys, and the the, the, the guy's going to slit your horse's throat right in front of you <laughs> to show you the meaning of discipline. That's what he said to me already. I, I see. I know. I, don't I even, got a que- I, I don't gotta, even own my house anymore. And oh I don't know no. Where- <laughs> I got a question for you though. When you did the deals with them, how did they not want to cut your head off for interrupting them anyway? <laughs> Okay, man, that's not funny, dude. I, I I'm sorry, Brian. You can't be taking, you can't be bringing your friends' fucking weird TV shows on our our thing. Yeah, dude, this is our time, man. This is why we do this, so we can get away from all that Chris fucking Hollywood even, bullshit. Chris doesn't even plug his his television series, primetime guys... television series. He could get at least like seven new viewers a week if yeah. he plugged it on you this got, show. You got some money. Let me borrow. Let me borrow some. Money. No, no, you need to learn. Here, I'll give you. I'll, does this help? I mean, I can't give you that much, but I don't know. Really. That's thirty thousand dollars in cash. Here's all here's, this. Here's a dollar. Here. Here. Here, dude. I wanna thank you guys for being there when I really fucking needed you. You stepped up it's not when even on tempo. I asked you when you came through for me. <laughs> thank you. I made mistakes along the way. I'm probably gonna lose my life, but I know you guys were there. Okay. Thank you for listening to the tale. You know he will. He's not gonna stop. Yeah, no, he's not. And thanks for subscribing and downloading on iTunes. We're on Twitter at Ten Min Pod, Facebook slash Ten Min Pod. We're on. We're on Stitcher Doesn't Smart matter. Radio. Doesn't matter. Hey, and follow all three of us on Instagram. At Crystalia. At Will Sasso. At-